Okay, hello, hello, hello. Uh, hey, Norrell. Uh, Naming? Naming. Uh, Ron's here too. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, yeah, Ron took the day off today, so. Yeah, so. Ron took the day off, so we know we hung out, and now we're here, ready for some Chrono Cross. Um, 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 um. Uh, hi, Ron. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Everybody. All right. So, yeah. Um, I think the last time we played Chrono Cross, we had fought all six dragons. I died to one, but second time we, we got it right. Um, <laughs> and so now I think we're supposed to, like, go through the portals. Um... I think we're supposed to go through the portals and then Friday, Friday I'm playing it by ear. I don't know. Uh, but if, you know, cause I don't know, there's a chance I might take the night off. I don't know yet. Okay. There we go. Uh, I'm running one more ad just so we can turn the pre-rolls off for an hour. Um, so if you're not subbed, sorry, just. No, please bear with it. Uh, it's just to turn the pre-rolls off so we can have an hour of none of their crap. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think we're going to do Rune Factory 5 on Friday. Uh, I'm having fun with Ayudin Chronicles. Uh, with Ayudin Chronicle, we'll probably be playing more next week and as well. Um, what else? Uh, you know, maybe do some Animal Crossing designs. Uh, maybe rotate some little uh, Dragon Quest heroes too. I I want to get back to as well. I I just want to finish it so then we can move on to the next thing. I'm kind of debating playing through Witcher three again. You know, uh, because they recently celebrated seven year anniversary of Witcher three. Like, Witcher three came out seven years ago. Doesn't feel like it. Uh, but it did. Uh, so I was thinking of doing like, I don't know, like a new game plus kind of deal with, uh, Witcher 3. I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, I definitely want to play through Mass Effect again, you know, like all, all of the trilogy. And then Andromeda, you know, for, for fun since we finished up Dragon Age. Um, yeah, with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I don't know. I was thinking about doing another playthrough of it. But I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to get the DLC as well. I might, but I don't. I don't know. I'm like on the fence about it. Uh, so we are gonna dive into some Crown of Cross. Um, so we'll, we'll do that. Uh, I think Karsh is in my party. Yeah, Karsh and uh someone else. Um, uh, Crown of Cross. Run across. So we're gonna dive in. I'll probably die a lot. I don't know. Well, we'll see. See how it goes. Um. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so here we go. Press any button. Okay, so we want to continue. So we're in slot one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have draggy. I have draggy. Uh, so, so something I forgot. Um, was the egg that we got, it actually hatches a dragon called Draggy, a little baby dragon, and he actually has really powerful, uh, fire spells. So, um, basically, uh, on, on the map, uh, you, you remember where we went to the tower? So if you go to the tower, when you take the elevator, yeah, Draggy, um, okay, I'll show you him. So basically to get draggy so see where that like the tower is the basically the tower where serge lost his body that elevator we took downstairs um with the with the incubators you're supposed to put the egg in the incubator and then it hatches right away and then you tell draggy you'll help him find his his family um yeah so this is this is Draggy right here. 
Uh, and he's a he's a little baby dragon. His innate is red. Oh, so he has. So he has. He's actually ridiculously OP. Um, if you put the flame charm on him, right, and the stamina ring, Draggy is a really strong red element uh, user. Uh, yeah, and he looks like a cute little baby dragon. Yeah, so he's a cute little baby dragon. But in order to get him, you have to put the incubator, you have to put his egg, the egg that we got in the first area when we first started the game, with, you know, the giant bird, you steal the egg from the nest. You put the egg in that incubator in the tower, right? And he immediately hatches. And when he says, will you help me find my family? Right, because he immediately latches onto Surge and links his body and is like, are you are you my he's like are you my mom he's like are you my mommy <laughs> right like he imprints and he's just like oh he's like you smell more like a father and basically draggy asks if you'll help him find his family and you say yes and then he'll join you uh so draggy i love it yeah so you can get a little dragon you can get a little a little fairy um i'm trying to remember where we're supposed to go next I think we're supposed to go to the... Okay. Let's forge a boat. I think we're supposed to go back to the Sea of Eden now. Since we fought all the dragons. Because we're supposed to, I guess, fix the time anomaly. Um, yes. Yeah, see, there's... There's that. Um, I'm trying to remember... I think we have to go back to Surge's world. Uh, Gaia's navel. Yeah, I think we have to go back to Serge's home world uh, in order to do it. Yeah, so, so we go, we go through. Yeah, because I think we're basically supposed to try and get Serge's body back, which means we're gonna have to fight Ling. And they strongly suggested, like, one of the guys I looked up. Yeah, see, there he is. Just, just hopping around. See, he hops. He does little cute little hops. Little hops. Um. Okay. So wait, where's the, where's the freaking portal? Oh, there we go. Um. Okay, so we have to use the astral amulet. There we go. Um. yeah so so basically we have to fight links to get his body back and they suggested bringing draggy because draggy has some really powerful fire attacks um yeah so we have a little we have a cute little baby dragon at our side or your boat yes okay so i think what we're supposed to do is go to the to the sea right here El Nido Triangle I'm pretty sure this is where we're supposed to go pretty sure okay so here we go in the water go in yes I think that's right um and then we just kind of okay so it's underwater apparently we can swim we can breathe underwater somehow i don't know how but we can uh, so we go in pretty sure whoopsie pretty sure this is right um do, 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 do. Oh, we're fighting a school of fish? Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh. Alright, so we gotta get our element slots. Ah, rude. Uh. Of course, everything comes for cars. Uh. Okay, so we just do like so. Alright, and a little more. Oh, we might be too OP. Okay, here's Draggy. He's like, I'm ready. 
schoolmates B? Schoolmates B? Oh my goodness. Alright, so all we have to do is physical attack. Alright, so. Got all this. Yay, cure plus scales. Okay. I think this is the right way. I don't remember. Pretty sure it's right. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Oops. Good grief. Well, we do need to unlock more slots. Okay, so. Oh, rude hurting the little dragon. Okay. So we'll just do what we gotta do. All right, so we'll just do what we have to do. Uh, all right, so draggy. Ah, and then here we go. Oh, he's just like, yay. <laughs> Yeah, his little dragon wings kind of look like butterfly wings. They're really cute. Uh, we just got out of a fight. Are you serious? Fine. All right. Well, we're gonna do... What are these? Oh, they're puffer fish. Okay. Bye, puffer fish. Puffer fish. Okay, well... And then if we go like this, I don't know if this was right though, going into the El Nido Triangle. Because there was another area that had like three water portals. Oh, needlework, ouch. Okay, so now, Forever Zero! I think that's new? Yeah, that's new. Oh boy. Forever Zero is actually kind of cool. Even though it's going to suck when we have to use that one when Lynx uses that against us. But it is a pretty cool attack. Um, I mean, it might be overkill for the puffer fish, but still fun to use. <laughs> it's dead. Arches is like, ugh. He's like, more, more fun with things. Uh, okay. Yes. Why do we keep getting attacked? This is annoying now. Like, I'm trying to figure out where the heck we are and we keep getting attacked by stupid fish. Um. Okay, fine. Alright. Got this. Harsh is like really good with axes, so uh with great axes. Okay, so now it's Draggy's turn. Just there we go. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay. We got this here plus. Oh, good. There's more puffer fish. Okay, so that was a dead end. There's supposed to be like a way to get through here. Um, because everything was moving again in the El Nido triangle, so seriously, okay. Just do like that, and like so. Uh, oh my goodness. Whoops. There we are. Okay. So now... The max healing. Okay. Oh, I thought there was a treasure chest there. There's nothing there. Right. So I'm trying to figure out uh, where we go from. Okay, so that's there. 
Right, so if we go down and around, um, maybe? Oh, it looks like there's... Okay, whoa, whoa. Oh, great, that thing's blocking our path. Ah! Trying to avoid it so we can just, like, see where we are. Is this not the right way? Like, we're underwater, but I don't see, like, a set path, which is weird. Um, okay, maybe there isn't anything under here. I thought maybe there was, but it doesn't look like there is. It's just, like, a weird... It's a weird circle. Okay. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> because... Okay, we went down, and then... Maybe do we go... Do we go up? Guess we can go up. Yeah, it... Huh. I don't think this was right. Oopsie. Okay, so we're not supposed to go in here. There's a place we're supposed to go that has multiple portals. Um... What the hell is it? Oh, maybe it was here. The Dead Sea Ruins? Oh, it might have been the Dead Sea. Okay. Like, Fate Dis- Oh, right, right, right. The Fate Distortion. I don't remember which one to go to, because there's like three different ones? Okay. Well, when in doubt, let's start, let's start with this one. Uh, the dragon relics aren't responding. Maybe Serge has to return to his human form. Oh, right. Wait, how do I return to my human form? I forget where we're supposed to go for that. Wait, 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 wait. We, okay, so where are we supposed to go? That's right, we have to get our body back. But wait, 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 I don't remember which way we're supposed to go to do that. Um, is, is it here? Oh, it's back in another world. I think. Um, I think. Pretty sure. Okay, so I think it's we have to get our body back. Shit. Okay, so he has his body in another world. So, um... So if we go, okay, so we'll go Astral Amulet. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. We have to get his body back, but I'm trying to remember where Evil Surge is. All right. Uh, okay, so where would Evil Surge's body be? Um... Would he be at the tower? I don't know if we can... Okay, hang on. Let me check. Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, this is the part where he gets his body back. And then I think he also gets all his friends back. I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe it's in here. Dead Sea Ruins, maybe? Can we get back that way? Oh. Hello? Damn, it's a dead end. Maybe some kind of dragon treasure will open it up? You remember where that treasure was? You mean the dragon tier? It used to be kept inside a shrine in Goldo, but someone from the village stole it. Wait. Okay, they stole it? Legend has it that the people who lived in the Sea of Eden passed through the pearly gates to inhabit Del Nido Archipelago. If that's true, then that means we're all descendants of those first settlers of mankind. Okay. Uh, so they stole it. I think it's impossible to get in from here. Okay, so, but then where did he go? We have to, we have to get it back from him. Okay, so it's not here. I'm trying to remember where we have to go. <laughs> because 
Wait, Goldo, Goldo, Goldo. Oh! I think we have to go to Korsha's home. Um, to talk to that lady. Because... Because Goldo... It means she can help us. Um... Okay, let's go... Okay, so let's go see if we can talk to her. Okay, so... We'll just... Okay, uh, she was this way. Uh, hello? Uh, be sure to act courteously on the premises. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, hello? One must choose one's own path, but as long as one is human, one will sometimes become lost. I pray that your journey will be blessed by the guidance of the six great dragon gods, but I did that already. Nido has long been called the land where the dragons sleep. Your island is named after dragons, numerous dragonian ruins, and artifacts. Um, you may have encountered some of these already. Yeah, I did all this, and I fought them. Or Dragonia is one of the new that is still fully functional. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Why don't I remember? Um. So, would you like to become the wind? I will become the wind. It will be 2G in advance. Pay 2G. Hey, thank you, sir. Well, please become the wind. Basically, just you just slide down as if flying. Um. So we need to get Serge's body back, but. I don't remember where the hell to go. Uh, there's somewhere specific we're supposed to go. Oh, right, we also have to talk to Orla. Um, other Orla, I think. Hang on. Is this her? Okay. Uh, I have a twin sister. Uh, I have a twin sister. Her name is Tia. Okay. According to the legends, twins are a sign of tragedy. Alright. When I was a child, I was separated from my mother and sister who left El Nido. I only had my father. I felt as if half of my body had been lost. There was a huge void in my heart. Okay. I never told this story to anyone before. Strange. Sometimes I really feel that there are countless worlds. And I'm not the only me. Does this sound odd? Oh, right. Orla. Uh, okay. But that might just be running away from reality. The one thing that always helped me when I felt weak was this sapphire brooch. It is a token that's been passed down through generations in my family. It's cracked in half now. One half belongs to me, and the other to my sister Tia. Okay, you don't have to return it. Just yet. This blue gem, this is the only one that exists in this world. That means it is proof you are the real sir. Okay. Wait, so please keep it with you until you have regained your true identity. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, okay, so not Goldove. Oh, we're supposed to... We're supposed to get Serge's body back, but I can't remember where the hell we have to go. Maybe the maybe Fort Dragonia in this world. Um. Okay, that. Uh. Yeah, I wonder if that's what we're supposed to do. Um. um, um, um. Maybe. Okay, Pyre Shore. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. I'm not certain. Uh, okay. Okay, so I wish I would give you like a hint. Um. Hey, Julius, how are you? Okay, I'm gonna have to look it up because I don't remember. 
Uh, I feel bad that I don't remember, but I don't remember. Um... Okay. Because it's been a while since I played, so... I don't remember. Um... <laughs> bless you. Bless <laughs> you. Yeah, because we got all the relics from the dragon gods. Who just woke up? Well, good morning. Um. Okay, so I think. Um. Oh. Right, I have to go to Goldovan Homeworld. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. I have to go to Goldove in Homeworld. Okay, that's right. So I, w I had the right idea. Uh, go to Homeworld. Um, but I have to go to, go to Goldove, but I have to go to Goldove in Homeworld, and I have to show her, uh, the dragons here. Okay. All right. Board your boat. Yep. So we'll just go this way. All right. So we'll go here. Uh. All right. So we'll go here. Then we'll go like this. Okay, so we'll use the astral amulet. Uh, hi, Alto Girl. It's nice to see you too. Uh, okay, so we are supposed to go to Gold Open, then we're supposed to show her. I wonder if we can show the other Ola the brooch. Um, okay, so we got Draggy. Okay, so we can go. We could go this way, and then we can go board the boat. Yes, board the boat, board the boat, and then we go to Goldove in Homeworld, right? And then we're supposed to go see the shaman. Uh, we're supposed to show her the dragon seer to prove that Serge is Serge. He's just in a different body. Um, also, I want to go see if the other Ola is here. Uh, the Ola and Homeworld, because I think, I think we can talk to her. Uh, alright. Wait, you're not Ola. Uh, yeah, it's a small, small shop, but I need a great place to kick back. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's Orcha. Oh, okay. Okay, so... We need to, um, we need to go here and then we need to talk to this guy. Hello. You, Halt. Judging by your appearance, you are foreign born. For reasons we will not explain, foreigners are not allowed to enter the tower. Please leave the premises at once. What should we do now? At this rate, we won't be able to borrow the dragon tear. Speaking of the dragon tear, the man's got massive lips. Yes. Speaking of the dragon tear, should we return to the broken tear to the shrine in the other world? The shaman in the other world might be able to help us somehow. So now I have to go back to the other world. Oh, come on, man. Fine. Um, for a lecture on this, see my big brother. He's at the residential tower. Please come back when you're done. I already did- These children are scam artists. Um. Uh, so I gotta go back to another world and then- oh, Such bullshit. Um. Fine. Can I please- Okay, you, actually. Can I- Where is this little kid? Oh, little kid? Oh, he's up there. Uh, okay. 
Let's see. Hello? Uh, uh, okay. Alright, okay. We'll go up here. Hey, respect the hustle. I mean, I do, but at the same time, they got a real, you know, they got a real racket going. You knew around here, aren't you? Do you know what these wires are for? If you don't, uh, I'll teach you. Oh, that's okay, I already know. You really know? That's kind of fishy. Oh, well, if you already know, that'll make things easier. What's it gonna be? You're talking to me because you want to do it, right? Of course I do. It'll be 10 gold in advance. Fine. It's just to use a zip line. Okay, ready? Have a safe flight! Right. So now I have to go back to another world and I guess I do have to return it to the shrine. I don't know. Ah, it said go talk to her and I'm like, okay, go talk to her. But they're like, you can't get in. So we need the dragon's tear. Ah. So annoying. Fine. Whee! Yep. We're going back to the sewer. We're teleporting again. To the other world. Da 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 da. Okay. Where is the damn portal? Okay, there. Uh, Astral Amulet. I might need Noral to look this up for me because. Because basically the whole thing is we have to get Serge's body back. Uh, from, from stupid head links. Uh, oh. Uh, eating anyway, my dinner today. I have some hot dogs from the grill. Oh yeah, Ron and I had hot dogs for dinner. Uh, they were good. We, we wrapped them in cheese. Um. What? I didn't say nothing. You didn't say nothing? No. I didn't say nothing either. We're talking about my hot dogs. Hot dogs? We had hot dogs for dinner. Yes. Dinner. Or chicken. <laughs> I, I don't know if Noral's back yet. Uh, trying to remember where we need to go to restore the tear to the shrine. Which I wonder, I wonder if that means we have to go back to Fort Dragonia. Or, or maybe we have to go talk to that lady again. Uh, then... oh, oh, hello. Uh, I am just now back. Uh, hi, now back. I'm mom. Girl's <laughs> like, Mom, we talked about these terrible dad jokes. <laughs> Oi, woman. Uh, Oi, kitten. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would get normal <laughs> she was just like, how dare? <laughs> she was like, how dare? <laughs> I need to know where to go to get uh, Serge's body. We, we basically have to get his body back. Wait, can we talk to the little old lady now? Little old lady. Okay, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. Help, help. I thought you said you could help. Well, answer your questions to the best of my knowledge. What would you like to know about? Um, the dragon tear? The one of a kind orb that our ancestors received from the now extinct Dragonians. Uh, traditionally, it was passed down to each successive shaman, but someone has taken it away from Goldo. Uh, okay. Frozen flame? That is something we have not heard of in these parts. But there is something about flames in the oral lore of our tribe. I do not know if this is related to the flame you speak of, but allow me to share it with you. Be very careful when you stare into the flame, for the flame will stare back. It will either transform you into a different being or burn you to ashes. In an old poem of El Nido, there is a phrase that refers to the evil sealed away by the six dragons. Uh, and yes, go follow Alto Girl, awesome person and streamer, does art stream. Animal Crossing uh, and really cute indie games so go go give a follow go say hello uh, this phrase follows after it the evil flame that sought to engulf the world an evil flame but this refers to the frozen flame did not be in the hands of humans 
Yet the truth about this story is unknown. Uh, that's all I need for now. Okay. Well, there are no help, so I'm wondering if I have to go back to Fort Dragonia? Oh, okay. It's little- small child, excuse me. Right. Uh, yep, thank you. Two gold. It's cheaper here! In Homeworld, it's like ten dollars! Uh... <laughs> rude? I knew that kid was overcharging me. <laughs> so... It said some... So... Draggy said something about returning the broken tear to the shrine. Uh, in another world, and he said, maybe that lady can help us. So I'm wondering if I have to go back to Fort Dragonia in this world and and then do the thing. But I don't know, so I guess I guess we'll see. Uh, all right, come on. Come on, I need Okay, so this is all frozen. No, shoo, shoo, shoo. Okay. Nope. Uh-uh. Piss off, lion man! Alright. So that's what I'm trying to figure out is like I'm trying to figure out where I need to go next to- Oh, son of a bitch. To- to get Serge's body back because we have to basically fight Dark Serge. Um... Blah 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 blah. Really? Really? You think- you think that's gonna work on little Draggy? Um... Uh, the- The hot hounds. All right, hot doggity. No, hot, hot doggity. Hot doggity. Hot doggity. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, Karsh's turn. Okay. Then. Okay. What? Uh... Oops. Really? Okay, we'll just do that. Dead, dead. Mom, I tried to raid you. Uh, hi, Pigeon. You tried to raid me? Okay. Did it not let you raid? I'm sorry. Hang on. Let me see. Pretty sure I'm following you. Oh. When did Twitch unfollow me? Okay, here, let me let me give you a follow. I'm so sorry, Pigeon. Um, I appreciate that you tried to raid me. Um Thank you for the raid. Yeah, I, I'm looking and it says I'm not following you, which is weird. Yeah, I hate that Twitch does that. That that's I'm so sorry, Pigeon. That's probably why. Um I do have the settings set to to friends and, and people I follow. So that's probably why it didn't work. I apologize for that. I didn't realize that Twitch unfollowed me. Um, I have made it right. <laughs> so give you a like follow just now. Um, but thank you for the raid. I, I appreciate you thinking of me. Uh, this means I can raid next time. Yeah, I, I fixed it. I don't know why Twitch does that. Like it just randomly <clears throat> unfollows people. It did that to me for Rainbow of All People and screwed with my follow streak. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, it did that to me for, who was it? For Tanandra. And I was just like, excuse me? I've been following her forever. What the frick? Um, I need to refresh. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, but yes, everyone, please go follow our friend uh, Pigeon. Uh, Pigeon's also a lovely person uh, and part of our community. And go follow them. Go say... We'll say hello and see some Legend of Zelda stuff. I still haven't played Breath of the Wild, by the way. <laughs> like, ever. <laughs> and we were like, you need to play it. I was like, it does look cool, but I also don't know if it would kind of, like, overwhelm me. Because it seems like a pretty big game with lots of puzzles. Um, uh, hi, Golden. I feel like I hadn't been in stream in a while, but when it's someone who streams I'm in all the damn times, it's like, yeah, like, I lurk in Rainbow Streams a lot, so, Anandra's too, so it's really weird that it went, you know what? Eh. And I'm just like, excuse you? <laughs> excuse? Oh god, it's a completely overwhelming game? Oh, Norl, I forgot Norl has it. 
Yeah, because I'm like, it looks cool and I do like open world stuff, but it also seems like it's a lot and I don't know if I could handle it. Um, but I, I love games like Fallout and Skyrim and, you know, Witcher. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I keep getting distracted. Yeah, it's just like, ah. Uh... All right, do we do, do we do a win? We do a win. Um, well, welcome on in, uh, everyone. Uh, if you're new or checking out the channel for the first time, hi, hello. I'm Other Gamer, and I'm no cam variety streamer. I like to play story games, RPGs, JRPGs, indie games. Uh, also, games like Animal Crossing. Lots and lots of Animal Crossing. Uh, <laughs> so we do talk about mental health in here, as well as social issues, because I am political and queer. I'm pansexual. Um, and we talk about, you know, we talk about mental health, mainly, uh, and as well as social issues. Uh, because I live with depression and anxiety, I'm Filipino, I'm pansexual, you know, very queer, uh, and I talk about those things openly and honestly to show others it's okay to not be okay, it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to need help, it's okay to be your true self, uh, and we do our best to be kind, welcoming, and supportive of everyone, so welcome on in, we're so glad you're here, and you can feel free to say hello, get to know everyone. Or, you know, if you're, you know, introvert like me, you can just, you know, you can just lurk and get comfy and just relax. Uh, my mom in chat. Hi, Golden. How are you? How's your mom? How's your mom doing? Um, okay, so we'll just... See, I can't go that way. Where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Uh, Noral, can you Google this for me? Or look this up for me. I need to know where to go next to get Serge's body. This is obviously not it. He, the dragon said go to another world. Little little draggy said go to another world and talk to that lady about... Well, that's not right. Um, did I, did I go the wrong way again? Uh-oh. God. He's not... Oh, God. Why? No. You, you stay away from me, sir. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Um, yeah, see, because the, the way is blocked off, so where the heck am I supposed to go? Uh, because it mentioned uh, the lion man is chasing me. Um, I have no idea. I don't, I do not remember where to go because because are you in a particular quest? Uh, yes. Game looks interesting. This is Chrono Cross. Uh, this was originally on uh, PS1, PS2. Um, it is a sequel to Chrono Trigger. Uh, I'm going to save the night or place for her safety. Basically, we have to get Serge's body back. Oh, uh, this is after we defeated all six of the dragons. So we have to get Serge's body back. Draggy mentioned returning the broken tear to the shrine. Um, but I'm not sure if that means anything. Um. Uh, okay, if we go this way, that's the shadow forest. That's not right. Um. Get a four-day weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. Memorial Day is this weekend. Um, uh, well, I hope you have a nice weekend. Um, yeah, so it's basically after I defeat all six of the dragons and I get their relic, we need to get Serge's body back, basically. Have you got the dragon emblem? Dragon emblem. Dragon emblem. Dragon emblem. Dragon emblem. A moto scale? Where do I get the dragon emblem from? Time shifter tier. Oh, the tier of hate? No, that's not it. Dragon emblem. Fiddler crab, Garai keepsake, hydra humor, decor shield, mushroom, Biba flute, tinkler, komodo scale? Visit diarrhea of the shaman's tent. I am in another world. I did visit her. She didn't do anything. So are the tier of hate. 
Oh! Oh! That's what I forgot to do. Son of a biscuit. Uh, I'm happy. Yay! All right. Here we go again. Walking down the street. I, that's what I forgot to do. Thank you, Noral. Fuck it, na man! Uh. Da -da -da. Someday. Someday. That's what I forgot to do. Okay, I have the quest up. Yay! What do I do with you? Uh, okay. Alright, cool, cool. Cool. That's cool. That's what- Because I talked to her and I was like, she te she's telling me the same stuff. And I was like, lady, I thought you were supposed to help me. Apparently, I have to give her the, the tear of hate because- And I forgot because I'm a silly billy. Uh, so... Something about them that keeps me in good spirits? Oh, Pippin, I'm glad to hear that. That makes me glad. Uh, okay, um, hello. Oh, oh my gosh, why do I push the wrong button? <laughs> Here, okay. Bleh. How can this be? This is without a doubt a piece of the dragon tear. Serge, I shall bestow upon you the dragon emblem. It is the mark of a dragon shaman. Okay, now what do I do with it? Serge has been bestowed with a dragon emblem. What do I do with this again? <laughs> The emblem and the dragon tear have been handed down by dragon shamans for generations. Although the worlds are different, you should be able to receive aid from the other shaman with his emblem. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Make haste to the alternate world. Okay, yay! There we go, figured it out. <laughs> with the help of Laurel. Uh, I can continue to guide if needed. Yes, please! Laurel will be my, my kitten guide. You'd be like, you have to be kidding me right now. Uh, hint, hint. Uh, she's like, you've got to be kidding me right now. And she's like, I only have nine lives and four paws. And she's like, you know, this gives us paws for a long... I'm seeing how long it takes before Golden goes, Okay, that's it. I'm done. Like, pause for alarm! <laughs> you like Navi except for, you know, less annoying- Oh my god, Navi. Navi in Legend of Zelda. Always going, Hey! Hey! Hey, listen! Hey, listen! And I'm just like, can, can somebody just, you know... <laughs> Mom, you are lucky I love you. I know I am. I love you too. <laughs> I remember, so I remember playing that with my brother, with my brother Rob. Um, I'm here for these kind of jokes. Uh, yeah, and, and the thing with Navi, and I started laughing because, because we were, we were trying to figure out a puzzle and Navi's going, Hey, listen! Hey! Hey! And my brother finally got mad. And he goes, Oh my god! He's like, where is somebody to tear this little fairy's wings off and shove them down her throat? And I was just like, I just burst out laughing. Because he was just like, he was so angry at this little pixie. Yelling, hey! Hey! And he just had enough. And he was just like, I'm gonna rip her wings off! And I was just like, wow! Like, where, where is someone to rip her wings off and shove them down her throat so she'll stop yelling at me? And I was just like, she's trying to help you. And he just goes, when? When is she trying to help me? I was just like, holy crap. And I remember telling my best friend about it. Yeah, and she started cracking up and said that her cousin pretty much had the same reaction. She's like, nobody likes Navi. Nobody. I was just like, hey, hey, listen, watch out. Like, yeah, like, and it's constant. And I'm just like, why did they think this was a good idea to have a little pixie just nagging the crap out of you every step of the way? Yeah, and I, and I just, I told my brother, I was like, why don't we just like take a break from the puzzle? And he was like, yeah, that's a good idea. So we like went and got some lunch and took a break. But he was just like, he was ready to just like end that little pixie's life. He was just like, you know what? He's like, she sucks. 
<laughs> I get to have chicken strips for dinner tonight. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go. Then it goes, now that I know what to do, spin in a circle, spin in a circle. No, but not really. <laughs> it's spin in a circle. All right, we're here. All right, now we can do it. Now we can do the thing. Yeah, so whereas Chrono Trigger was uh, time travel, Chrono Cross is dimensional travel. So Surge is from the home world, right? But the surge in the other world, in, in another world, that surge died 10 years ago. So you have these, you know, so like Karsh, so in home world, Karsh died, right? But in another world, Karsh is very much alive. You know, the, the guy that's with us, uh, he's a dragoon. Um, so you have, so they have like another self in the other world and you know and it shows like similarities but also like things that are slightly different about their lives and their personalities uh i used the face camera pigeon that's amazing i'm proud of you good for you uh okay um uh dragon emblem dragon emblem dragon emblem ah, 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 ah. that is a dragon emblem how did a foreigner like you get a hold of it Welcome, travelers across the dimension. Bring them before me. Yes, if it is your wish, Miss Nina, you have permission from the chief. You may pass, foreign travelers. Ow. Great, right, thanks, I, I guess. <laughs> I have zebra cakes! Yay, zebra cakes! Oh, the little old lady's not here. It's Nina Justina. As promised. I will lend you the dragon tear. I shall accompany you to the fort as well. Wait, seriously? Sina's coming with us? Um, confirm. Her element is what exactly? What is her element? Oh, it's white. Oh, she'll die if she faces Dark Surge. Um,. But that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. So she's coming with us. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, all right, I guess we're going to the fort. May the six dragon gods bestow protection upon we, children of the planet. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, mm hmm, zebra kicks. Zebra kicks. Zebra kicks. Well, you know. You know what they say, dessert takes the cake. Holden's like, no. Alright, uh, hello. No. Uh, oh, that's too bad. No, no, no. Uh, sorry, I, uh, I will become the wind. The two golden in the veins. Yeah, what? She's like, thank you, kind sir. Yep, off we go. I'll have to get some next time I go to the store. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've had those. They're pretty good though. All right, off we go. Board your boat, yes. Board your boat. Uh 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 uh. Board your boat. Uh uh uh. La. Okay, so I guess we have to go to Fort Dragonia in another world, right? And we gotta fight numbnuts there and get our body back. Yay. Uh. <laughs> And we're walking. If I had known you were coming, I would have baked the cake. Baked the cake. Oh, it just let us run through. Aha! Winner, winner. Oh, hello. Wah! You scared me. Place the dragon tier here. The fort shall open itself up for you. Okay. Cool. Whoop. Then I. Oop. Oh, boy. Uh, I got to talk to my brother today. It was nice to hear from him. Oh, that's nice. All right, so into the fort. So basically, we don't have to do all the puzzles again. We can just do the thing. We can do the scary thing. Uh, yeah, so this is the remaster of Chrono Cross for the Nintendo Switch. I'm hoping, hoping the next will be the remaster for the Switch for Chrono Trigger because Chrono Trigger is awesome. 
Uh, but Chrono Trigger is the first game and that has like time travel and you can also see all the artwork of Akira Toriyama uh, who also does the artwork for uh, Dragon Quest games as well as the Blue Dragon game um, and you know of course Dragon Ball. Uh, so, so Chrono Trigger is all about time travel right and Chrono is the main character and then Chrono Cross <laughs> Uh, they kind of undid some things from Chrono Trigger, uh, but whereas Chrono Trigger is time travel, Chrono Cross is dimensional travel, right? Like parallel dimensions, parallel worlds. Uh, so, so it's interesting, and you get to recruit all these different types of characters, uh, and you know, and then the battle system has like the element system as well. Um, uh, he's the best big brother I have. He's my only brother. Oh, Pigeon, that's nice. That's really nice that you have a good relationship with him. Uh, okay, so I think we have to go. Oh, crap. Uh oh. Huh. So you finally made it. Give us back our body, you son of a bitch. <laughs> but this is as far as you will get. It's a little too soon for you to get your original form back. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh snap. It's about to go down. Uh oh. Okay. Yep. His his element is black. So it means we can do some white spells on him too. Come on. Come on. We're getting our body back, dang it. <laughs> Uh, I thought about giving you my old desktop computer since I no longer need it. Ah. Wait, he killed Daggy? He killed Draggy? What the frick? That should not have happened. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Sorry, my bad. Oops. <laughs> I'm like, I saw the zero and I'm like, ah! I'm like, no, oh, never mind. He's fine. Um, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, pff. what are we gonna do? 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 Um, 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 wait, don't I have Meteor Shower? Oh, wait, I don't. Oopie. Oopie. Uh, I could temporarily decrease his magical power. Or I could do Photon Beam. Hmm. Maybe do Photon Beam, and then I should probably do Imbecile, though. Uh, okay. Whoop. Well, it's so oh, poopy. He has feral cats too. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, that's not good. Well, shit. Ow, our faces. Oh my god, our faces. Uh, okay, we have to recover all. We 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 have to do a heal. Draggy's hurting. Um, Draggy hurting real bad. Uh. Okay, Draggy, you're up. Uh, where is your, where is your, where is your stuff? Off drop? Cough up a little breath of fire. Uh, Magma Burst. Cough mix. Cough up a fireball, then beat wings to magnify it. That does sound like it could come in handy. Um. Cough drop. Uh, we might have to do Inferno or Volcano. Oh, we could do Volcano. Um, uh, she barked really loud. Oh, that's nice. Uh, oh my goodness. There we go. Okay. All right. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, we are going to have to... Okay, we are going to strengthen, uh, we're going to strengthen Draggy, we, we need to, um, all right, okay, so, right, oh poop, oh he coming. 
God. Freaking. He's such a dick. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Meteorite, recover all. I feel like I need to play it safe so that nobody gets, you know, murdered. Draggy is so cute. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we found him. Uh, yeah, so when you come to Fort Dragonia, you're- I forgot about it and I went back and did it later. You're supposed to put the egg in the incubator and then he hatches right away and then you tell him, yes, you will help him find his family and then he joins you. Um, and then you need to give him a stamina ring and an anti-red charm and he becomes- and he's actually really freaking powerful. And yeah, this is exactly why I healed everybody because Lynx is a freaking douche. Uh, he's so adorable. He's like, do you mean it? He's like, I'm super cute. Okay. Yeah, Draggy's like, heck you. Heck you, sir. All right. Uh, pfft. Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of. Damn. Okay, heal all. Yeah, Serge is going to have to basically be healer again. Pretty much has to have Serge heal everybody. All right. Okay. We need, we need something. Dragon Rider or, or where is his axe? Axial axe? Yep. Okay. Axial axe. Basically, we can't let him turn the field black. Uh, all right. You ready, buddy? He's like, I'm ready. Uh, we can do meteorite. Um... Graviton Magma Burst. Okay, let's let's try cough drop. I don't know. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Did you get to name Draggy? No. Uh, they have default names. You can change the names if you want to. But I've just been sticking to default the default names. Really, if I should sound like they're from slapstick comedians. Uh, okay. All right, come on. Oh, here he comes. You leave Draggy alone. You are rude. You are so rude. Super rude. Uh, okay. We need. Hmm. We need a. Okay, cure plus magma birds, maybe? Um, I feel like, okay, I feel like we need to get, unlock the rest of his element slots. There we go. Uh, okay, draggy. Let's do, hmm. Do I have any more heals? I do not. Um. Okay, let's try... Okay, we're gonna... Okay, so we're gonna use a white spell against him. Uh... Oh, yep, I had worried about that. Uh... How about... Photon Ray, maybe? Uh... Yeah, that's so weird. Uh... Okay, we could do either recover all or heal all. Um, you know what? Let's do heal all because Draggy only has like 200 hit points left. Uh, so we got this. Yep, I hit forever zero. I knew it! Draggy, I'll wiggle. Oh, this is gonna hurt the shit out of us. Um, it is a really cool attack, though. Like, it's really pretty. But man, it's gonna nail us. Oh, it's gonna nail us so bad. Oof, how how bad was it? Oof, that is, that is bad. <laughs> that is bad. Uh, okay, we are gonna weaken your ass. Um, Jackie, I'll wiggle, give it to me. All right. We need to get this guy! 
Alright, uh, Karsh! Alright, Element. Uh, we can do... Okay, we could probably do Magma Burst. Gotta do something. All right, there we go. Okay, all right. We are not going to be stupid. We are going to make sure he doesn't get the drop on us. All right, Karsh, you're up, you're up. Hell yes, Dragon Rider, do it. Uh, okay, so that's one of his other specials. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, take that butthole. Um, oh no, not black hole. Oh no. Oh! Son of a bitch! Oof! But it doesn't necessarily, like... Dang, see? See, this is exactly why I healed. Oh my god, poor little draggy. Uh... <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, how very dare you! Oh, you are rude! Okay, let me see if I can revive him. Yes, I can. How dare you! Like, how flippin' dare! Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. We just gotta hang on. Please tell me he's dead. Please tell me this mofo is dead. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. We have to do a recover all. Ugh. Oh, freaking a-hole. Um. Alright. Draggy. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Uh, okay. Let's see if we can do that. I mean, it's not going to be really strong, but... It'll hurt him at least. Okay. Alright, so got this. Oh no. Thunderstorm. That's gonna hurt Karsh because he's green. Um. Great. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna die again because of this stupid bullshit. Uh, okay, heal all. I have to heal us. I uh, there's nothing else I can do. Uh, I can't remember if he has a revive. Um. Okay. Missed. Damn it. I'm so freaking sick of freaking Lynx. Seriously. It's a total douche. Right? And it's just like, what the hell is he hanging on for? I need to revive. Where are all my other revives? Fucking ridiculous. Right. Uh I should have more revives than this. Um uh, Okay, fire pillar. Ice Blast? Ice Blast. Let's do it. Let's see. Let me use Ultra Power. I don't know. Remember, this is an older game. So it's not necessarily... Like, yes, it's a remaster, but it's not necessarily... Um... You know, updated graphics-wise. Uh... Okay. Alright, we're gonna lose again. Unless I 
freaking do something. Um, I, I haven't been able to revive Karsh at all, which really ticks me off. Um, hi Faye, how are you? Yeah, remember, older games don't necessarily have all of the graphics and bells and whistles of modern games. Well, we somehow managed in spite of Karsh dying. Um, so just try to be aware of that, please. Uh, okay, because in OBS it's fine, so... Uh, okay, so we got... Yeah, see, that's exactly what I didn't want. Karsh didn't get that, that extra slot that he needs. Um... Impressive. I may have underestimated you. Anyway, I must get on with my affairs. Besides, it's too late. Goodbye, Serge. It's not too late. It shouldn't be. What does he mean it's too late? That can't be right. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um. But I'm excited for the weekend. Oh, that's good. Um. And yes, the, the bigger spells do, like, cause things to struggle a little bit. Um. Okay, where is that Nostrum? I'm so mad that Karsh died. Like, that's, that's such bullshit. Uh. Nostrum. Because he, now he didn't get the slot that he needed uh, for extra element. Okay, hang on. I know that I put more than one revive on Surge. Um. Uh, okay. Okay, so there's a recover all, there's a recover all. Okay, so there's one revive there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think... Okay, hang on. I think... Um, okay, hang on. I think Arsh has one of the revives, which is fine. Uh, who else has a revive? Cover all. Cover all. Cover all. Um, okay. We can either do Cure, Aqua Ball, um, a magnify. Uh, I think we'll go to bed. Love y'all. Have a great time. Have a good night, Pigeon. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, we're going to Nobles on a camping trip this weekend. Oh, that sounds nice. Uh, gravity glow. Low res info scope. Text your opponent's HP data. Yeah, but it doesn't always work. That's the thing that ticks me off. It doesn't always work. Uh, a mini. Oh, a Winjin blows your foes away with a twister. He has that now? Okay, that'll work. No, he has a revive. Where is it? Um, recover all. Recover all. Pretty sure he, yeah, see, he has a revive. But there's, a, who else has the other, oh, no, who else has the other revive? Um, I believe it is, uh, this guy. All right, um, okay, let me see here. Elements, allocate. You have the other revive, don't you? Okay, gravity gleam, strong-minded, magma burst, cover all, recover all, um, Heal all, Inferno, weak-minded, cannonballs, recover all. Iceberg. Okay, we're gonna remove all his stuff. Yes. Because he's not in our party, so I need to revamp some stuff. Um, uh, I haven't been since last year and I miss it. Oh, nice. Uh, gonna be lurking while I do that? Of course. Enjoy. Uh, all right. Teleporter. Okay. Teleporter. Alright. So, nope. Wrong one. Uh, elements allocate. Because the thing is, is one of those, 
think Inferno. I think that's better for for Draggy. Um uh, Inferno. Ah, uh, Salamander! Yes! Yes, I'm gonna give him Salamander. Inferno can go. Oh, you do have several Infernos. Why didn't you use them, little guy? Uh Okay, Inferno. And maybe that's negative one. Um, ninety-nine. Inferno really keeps hit percent of basic attacks. That okay. Weekend magma burst. Weekend Inferno. 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 Volcano one. Yeah. Cover all. Recover all. Here plus salamander. Okay, so he does have some Inferno. Well, then he used them. Um, we have one weekend. We have a couple of weekends. We have a Cure plus one. Ice Blast, Upheaval, Fire Pillar. Uh, Ice Blast did kind of work. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm going to give him a heal all. Um... All right, so Karsh, 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 Karsh. So Karsh has a revive and Surge has a revive. Do we not have any more? Okay, hang on. Ah, ah. Revamping this is kind of hard. Uh, okay, turn black, heal all, heal all. Right, that's fine. Meteorite, yep, 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 recover. Right, so Surge has a revive and Karsh has a revive, which is, which is fine. Um, but I could have sworn I had another, a third revive. Okay, well, we got Magma Bomb, Nimble, Numble, Purify, restores all status effects. Ooh, Purify might be really good to have. Um, Arrow, Saucer, Fireball, Heal, Lift, Diminish, Magma Burst. Okay, so we have Pure, we have Aqua Balls. Um... Holy Light, Magnifier, we have Cure Plus, Blue Whale I think goes to the Fargo, um, Genius, Seal All, Turn Yellow, Bush Walk, I might have to do another, another heal all, or I might give him Inferno, um, because Inferno, however, all, Aqua Beam, Weak Minded, Saint, Saint I think is for Surge. So that's why I haven't really done anything with it. You know what? Yeah, let's give him an Inferno. I don't know what the freaking what Dark Surge means by it's too late. I don't think it is too late. I really hope we're not going to have to fight him again because that's going to be a freaking pain. Uh, uh, all right, here we go. Open the door. We're opening the door. OK, so we saved. Basically, do we go up or down? Um, go up, I guess. Where the where the tier was. Oh, uh, yep. This this looks familiar. Back back to the scene of the crime. Uh. Right. Well. Here we go again. I think we go this way and out the door. All right. Yep. There's there's the uh, the elevator. Wait, can I not go that way? Oh come on! Are you serious? You're making me go all the way around for this, this silly, silly, silly shit. Uh, you're really making me run all the way around again. Uh Yep, they totally are. Wow, just just rude. But all right. But all right then. Um How do we Okay, there is treasure chest. Links found anti-white. Well. Well then. Um Okay, so if we go, there's a treasure chest down here too, but I don't know if it has anything good. 
Nostrum, uh, heal. All right, so we go up. Yeah. Up. Why? Why it not working? Okay, there we go. I was like, why does that teleporter not work? There we go. Teleporter work fine. Oh wait, are we going up into? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, here we are again with the weird, creepy door. A weird creepy door oh uh she she has got to stop doing that search you must proceed alone from here you must see and confirm for yourself who you really are truth shall manifest itself once you believe in your heart okay then um well, now what? Uh, so we have to place the dragon tier, I guess? Uh, dragon emblem, tier of hate. Okay. No. Um, dragon tier? What is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, dragon tier. Am I supposed to do something here? Not the dragon tier, dragon emblem? I'm trying everything I can think of. Dragon emblem? I'm doing something wrong! Uh. Oh, I had to hit the A button. Okay, I'm awesome at this. All life on this planet was born in the sea. Okay. The life forms softly slumbered within the womb of our mother ocean. Until eventually, they developed free will and were able to swim about the ocean freely. Then there came those that, not satisfied with life in the water, looked up from the ocean floor towards the blue skies and dreamt of the feel of the land. Eons passed before their preposterous dream became a reality and they rose up from the seas onto the earth. The land became full of all kinds of creatures. Among these, the dragon lizards and the more evolved reptites thought they would reign over the earth forever. And for a long while, it seemed that they would. However, the unforeseen coming of the mighty one from the heavens suddenly smashed their kingdom to pieces. The one known as Lavos, the Great Crimson Flame. Ah, yes, Lavos is from Chrono Trigger. Um, wielding absolute power, Lavos buried the dinosaurs, the kings of the land, in the space of a night. However, the timid apes who had lived hidden in the forest came into contact with the crimson flame that fell from the sky and evolved into human. Perhaps this was not evolution, but transformation. Regardless, humans increased in number and filled the earth. The fearsome progeny of Lavos, just like their progenitor, began to devour our mother planet. Oh. Oh boy. Oh! Oh, here we go. Whoa! Oh boy. Uh, so I guess it's showing Surge where he came from. Whoop! Oh! Whoa! 
Whoa, that's trippy. Oh, it's Surge. It's a baby Surge. Uh, it's a baby Surge. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Does this mean he got his body back? Little baby. Little baby. Not a baby anymore. Oh. oh. It looks like he may have gotten his body back. Rapid grow up weird. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, it looks like he's himself again. Um. Ta da! Look, we're back! Hooray! Hello. Uh. Serge! Serge! Well, they're very happy. <laughs> uh, uh. you have regained your identity without being led astray. Your eyes, which foresaw the truth, will help you to regain your trust among your comrades. There is nothing we can do about the dragon tear. Its shattering does not come as a surprise. However, you also carry the fate of the dragon tear from another world. The broken pieces of love and hate. Although contradictory, they are two sides of the same coin. The serious force may come to light when the two pieces are united. Perhaps this force will be the legendary Chrono Cross. The only problem is the shrine, which is said to give life to the Chrono Cross, is nothing but a cavern inside Divine Dragon Falls. Serge may hold the key to bringing forth its powers. Ray, the dragon tear shattered but transformed into the tear of love. Hooray! Okay, well, now can we equip his elements? Oh, it removed all his elements. Ha <laughs> ha! It removed all my elements because body switch, you know. You know how we do. Uh, okay. <laughs> Well then, now I have to fix it again. Rude, rude, I tell ya, rude. <laughs> like, well, you know, you're not in the the body that uses black magic. Now you're back to white magic. Um, okay, all right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where are all my? Where are all my? Uh, okay, we are gonna put a revive. Uh, yes, we can use saints now. Yes. All right, photon ray, meteorite. Where's meteor shower? Photon beam, photon beam, meteor shower. Why, why you trying? Okay, you say it goes there. Fine. Um. Now I have to put all my stuff back. Meteorite, photon beam. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We need, we need to recover all. We need to put our... Okay, where's my revive? Seriously. My revives! Um, innate attribute color for... Yeah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> okay, so I put one revive. Uh, cover all, recover all. Um, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so... We are gonna have to give him a photon ray. Oh, he does have two revive. What the f? Uh, no. Okay, one revive. One revive. There should be another, another revive. I'm gonna give him an inferno. Wait, no, not inferno. There. Um, strengthen maybe? No. Turn it. Not going the way I want. Heal all. No. 
Okay, so we need... Give him the photon ray. Ugh. Just the fact that I'm having to, like, put in all all his, his stuff. <laughs> Alright, uh... Okay, so... Hmm... Alright, wait, wait, wait. Inferno... Oh, right, I forgot he has Luminaire. Uh... Okay, Aqua Beam, Ice Lance, we need to give him, like, a mix of... Um... Of things, okay. I'm trying to give him, like, a bunch of heal spells because the thing is, is, like, Surge is basically going to have to be healer, like, before. Um, it's really unfortunate, but here we are. <laughs> uh, okay, Inferno. We did. Okay, so I gave him Inferno. Uh, let's give him a Strengthen just because, you know, never know. Ice Blast. Uh, yep. Okay. So, Aqua Beam, uh, Bushwhacker, Heal All, Infoscope, Low Res, temporarily decreases an opponent's defense. That actually might come in handy. Um, oh right, Cure Plus, Plus King there, um, more Inferno, uh, Frog Prince, um, okay, so we can do... A magma burst right there and then we can do I don't know why it tries to move it to a slot that I don't want it in um okay magma bomb turn blue medicine ointment uh, health soul diminish temporarily halves elemental damage then we have turn black oh right we also need some uh black spells right so gravitone could work um as well as imbecile because imbecile basically um basically decreases their magical power so they don't do as much okay then hellbound <laughs> send your enemies on a trip to hell that sounds bad uh okay so we have some of that, and then where are our Healy, Healy spells? Our Healy spells. We might have to do, uh, okay, so the tablets only heal like small HP. Um, Nostrum's supposed to heal more HP. Covers HP large. Yeah, we're, we're gonna need that. Okay that everything okay and then he has a new spell called flying arrow hey you got your body back yes we got our body back we got our body back yeah yeah yes we got our body back uh yes we did we we fought him and i don't know he said some weird shit like it's too late and and it's just like well okay we're we're gonna give him another recover all everybody good is everybody good now yeah Allocate. Wait, I still have more? I still have more. Um, it's fun being in weird. You should try it sometime. Uh, okay. Still have more things to do, do, do. Uh, okay, maybe we can do another upheaval. I'm trying to organize it, like, a little better in failing. Um, uh, I guess we should also do another, another heal hall. He's just gonna have to have like a lot of heals because he's obviously gonna have to be healer. Thunder Snake. Um, okay, let's also give him another cure plus. You know, cause never know, and never know. Um. Okay, Sonya, Inferno, Deluge, Aqua Ball. Um, we could do Aqua Ball. Or we could do Fireball. Arrows, Flosser, Bush Basher. Um, Bush Basher could work. I mean, it's not as strong, but 
it, it, do, it comes through in a pinch. Um, okay, Electro Jolt is another, is another one. Okay, we have a couple of those. All right, Magma Bomb turned blue. And then we have, uh, I don't know. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, Ice Lance doesn't really do as much. Um, so we have Panacea. I don't have Holy Light. But does now make the Flash Gordon theme song play in my head? Mom's ah. Ah. What you you mean like Flash? Ah, ah, ah. he's the savior of the universe. I don't know. It's very catchy. Uh, it's very catchy. Cover oh. all. All right. I guess we should do. I guess we should do like an ice lance as well. Just like a couple. Couple of ice lances. All right, is that everybody? Is that everybody now? Y'all good, sirs? You got all your, you got all your stuffs. Okay. Now let's look it. I think he has some, some stuff now, right? Much. Yeah. Okay. So he has genie. Okay. And what about draggy? Draggy has his stuff. Fire pillar, okay. Volcano, cover all, recover all, heal all, plus he has a cure plus four. And he has salamander now. Uh that's the hook though. Ah Flash, the savior of the universe. Well, yes. So now we can leave, I guess. So we have to go does this mean we have to go back and get all our friends? Um We're back! Dun dun dun! Oh, actually, I think we were supposed to go. Wait, can we go around this way? Oh, yeah, see, there we go. Well, of? I don't know. Um, go out this way, what happens? Does it lead us to the. Oh. Does it lead us to the elevator? Yes, it does. Away we go! Dun dun dun! So, where are we supposed to go next, Noral, after we finish this? Uh... Do... Do you have the time to listen to me whine? About nothing and everything all at once. Okay, so let's save. Since we... You know, we did, we did the things. Uh, since we did the things... I don't you were coming, I would have baked the cake. Baked the cake. Wait, did I save? I saved, right? Didn't I? Crap, I don't know now. Better better be sure. There we go. Um I'm from Umbridge. If I could turn back down. Okay, so I guess we just leave the way we came. We got our body back. Woo woo! Feels pretty good. Love that song, so you have Surge's body back, yeah? Yes. Mom now basket plates is playing in my head. I'm sorry. Sometimes I burst into song. About nothing and everything all at once. I am one of those melodramatic fools. Neurotic to the bone, no doubt about it. <laughs> Well, now you can sing along! Sometimes I give my the creep. Okay, so we gotta go back to the village. I think. My um. No, it's my mind. Hey, I'll sing along. <laughs> and dialogue. Forbidden Island and Homeworld. Where's the Forbidden Island? Dun, dun, dun! Forbidden Island? Forbidden Island and Homeworld. El Nido Triangle. Daya's Naval. 
Hidden Island? Sky Dragon Isle. Hidden Island. Forbidden Island. Um. Wait. No, that's Earth Dragon Isle. Sorry, my bad. Hidden Island. Uh, Forbidden Island. Let's hide away. Isle of the Damned. Uh. Can I show a picture? It might be wiser. Yes, that's fine. Funny and weird. You should try it sometime. Okay. Water Dragon Isle? Oh. Um. We are. Wait, where is that? Forbidden Island. Is this on the other side? I don't see anything. Forbidden Island. It's here. Maybe do we have to, Okay, I know that's where we're supposed to go, but it's not popping up. Maybe we have to go talk to someone first. Um, that's weird. That's weird. Oh, it'll be attached to a side quest, so I'm still reading. Oh, okay. Yep. I wonder if we can go talk to that lady? Wait, I'm kind of curious as to what will happen when we go to the village. Uh... Alright. They're just home village. I don't think they're gonna yell at him anymore since he's not a demi-human. So... Well now, you're an Arnie! Brings you here to this quiet seaside village. Oh, it's you, Serge. Let me go in your Hydra marshes to the east if you go outside. I want you to run into those evil dwarves in that hydra now. We already did that, but cool. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. Wait, I think I can go talk to Orla now. Can't we? I do remember Orla said come visit her in another world and give her the brooch and then she would join us. Um, I do remember that much. But that's for like recruiting uh characters oh we we get this animation back too it's like all right dimensional travel you're welcome good to be back in runescape all right yay we made it Ooh. la 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 all right, so now, so now we do things. Board your boat, yes. Board your boat, no, 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 baby, don't rock the boat. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. Cause I, I'm gonna make you see nobody else here, nobody like me. All special, special. All right. So we need to go... Okay, so I, I want to do the thing with Ola before I forget. We're supposed to give her the brooch. Um, need to use restroom and feed the monster! Feed the kitten! Feed the kitten. Wait. This is the bar. Okay. Ola! Hello, Ola! Hello, Ola? Hello. Orla. Someday we'll find my sister Tia somewhere, somehow. Okay, where is Sapphire Brooch? This blue gem! Looks like you've regained your true self! Now it's time to do my part! Orla joined your party! Yay! So Orla's one of us now. Uh, one of us. I forget what, what her element is. Uh, oh, it's blue. It's blue. And we also have Pip, 
Ooh, inherent is white. Okay, so blue. All right. So she is one of us now. All right. So we talk to that lady again. Um. Talk to that lady now. All right. So. Let's see here. Hello. All right. Uh, hi, Cena. Um. I guess that's all I need to know for now. Uh. Okay. Those. So Cena and Homeworld joined us. Cena and another world is doing her thing. Um. Wait, how do I get down? Oh, right, right, right. Uh, let's go to Forbidden Island, but the thing is, is like, I don't think we can go there just yet. Because it's not marked on the map. Unless... Unless I'm supposed to go... Um... Unless I'm supposed to go to... Uh... Yeah, there's something I'm missing. Yes, or devote. Uh, sometimes it's a little frustrating when it doesn't always tell you where to go. Uh, Forbidden Island. Wait, did I accidentally find it? I didn't think I would accidentally find find it the heck? where the heck are we there's like a little house uh locked okay that's weird as shit um <laughs> okay so the door is locked there so maybe okay so maybe i have to go to home world and do it that way um but that was real weird there's a house there huh interesting okay, well let's go to home world and see if we can do the same thing all right so we'll just do 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 Astral amulet. Here we go again. Just bloop. Portal. Go from one portal to another portal. Well then, uh, okay, let's try this again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I'd known you were coming, I would have baked the cake, baked the cake, baked the cake. Okay, so we'll go this way. Yeah, because see, the weird part is it wasn't popping up, so it was really really strange so but now it looks like now it popped up basically i had to discover it in another world then go to home world okay uh all right yeah you can see like the little chimney smoke well you must have been a beautiful baby okay all right is it locked here oh here it's not locked that's hello Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I I remember something. I have to put Riddell in my party. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let me go out to the world map. Because I think that's um I think that's her fiance. Uh I think that's her fiance. Uh okay, alright, alright. 
A teleporter. It's only temporary. Draggy. Uh, okay. Um, 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 um. Because I think there's like a whole thing where she like recognizes him. Uh. We should give her some. Some things. Uh. Good. Uh. Let's see here. Um. Yeah, we'll just we'll give her a couple of things. Uh. Yeah, I actually have a ton of these, so. Okay, so she has snake eyes, and then it's gonna give her. We're just gonna give her a couple, a couple of things I don't necessarily need, um, because I, I don't remember if he like tries to kill us. Uh, <laughs> so we're we're just kind of, kind of hedging our bets here. Um. Okay. Uh. My bank in RuneScape has 1.16 mil worth of gear. Oh, I don't think I've ever played RuneScape. Uh, okay. So we'll just... We'll just do a little... Do a little dance. Um... Electro... Jolt? Okay. Grab a tone. Um... I'm trying to give her some things that are useful. Okay, well, we'll just do it that way. And then I'll, I'll summon Draggy back after this. Yeah, because I think... I think that's him. I think that's Dario. So... Who everybody thought died? So... Uh, he hello? Yes? This cannot be! Are you... Dario? Yep, he not dead. But of course you are. This is another world. You are alive and well in this world. Dario, that's right. We're in another world. Oh, it's not there, Dario. It's Dario in another world. Um... That's right, we're in another world. Are you saying you know who I am? Oh, we amnesia. Okay. Uh, and my high level got my high level account stolen. Oh gosh, Julius, I'm sorry. Are you saying you know who I am? What? What did you say? No, this cannot be. What the crap, Dario? Of course we know. Oh, hello. Do you know this man? It's been four years since this man washed ashore. Clinging on for dear life. Every day was a battle between life and death, but miraculously, he made it. However, this man has no recollection of his past whatsoever. Yes, sorry, you. You do not remember me. I may be the Riddell from another world, but every day I have always... And yet you do not remember who I am. Riddell? That name moves my heart. It couldn't be. It's Dario from from her world? Oh! Adele, that name moves my heart. I have a feeling I have lost someone very dear to me. Forgive me. I just cannot remember. Only there was something to reawaken your memory. Yes, I know. Your mother's memento, which you gave to me. That may help you remember. I wonder how this man survived in heavy armor. She said she found the lady said she found him in the ocean. I believe that was my father could not stand seeing me in sorrow. So he stored it safely away in a secret treasure vault inside Viper Manor. Secret treasure vault? Where exactly is it? It is in a room inside the East Tower. You can access it from the second floor. Wait, don't we have it? I think we have it. Um, at least I'm pretty sure we have it. Uh, parlor key, green tinkler. 
Okay, so we have to go to Viper Manor. Um, and I guess we have to go to another world. How much hard heavy armor will sink you like a brick? Well, you know. Uh, okay, yes, forge your boat. Well, I guess we have to go to Viper Manor in another world and find and find that that memento um because i don't necessarily think um well you know rpg f plot holes and all that um i don't necessarily think we can go in this world because it's probably not there probably wait let me see uh, oh, hello. Do you not what, know what caused the manor to collapse? Oh, I have a pretty good idea. Uh, okay, so we have to go to Viper Manor in another world and get the memento, jog Dario's memory, all all that all that jazz. Uh, and appeared in, on that shore. I have no idea. All she says is that she found him. And that he almost died, but then he didn't, but he doesn't remember who he is. So, who knows? It might be Dario from her world. It might be this Dario from Homeworld. Because remember, Link killed the Dragoon. He killed the Dragoons in, in Surge's world. Um, so, so there's no way to tell. Uh, okay. East Tower, East Tower, East Tower. I'm pretty sure we found that necklace, but I don't remember. Uh, East Tower. Here we go again. I think we should be able to get in this time, maybe. Uh, can we get in? Oh, we can't get in. It's rude. Uh, there seems to have been some trouble inside. Wait, how do we get in? Uh, how do we get in? It. Um, how do we get in? How do we get in? Um, wait. Wait. How are we supposed to get the freaking memento if we can't even get in? Oh, that's so infuriating. Okay, wait. Isn't there, like, a tunnel or something? Um... But I think that's how we got in last time. Uh, hello? Oh! Yeah, it should be on the bluffs. We should be able to do it that way. Maybe? Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. let's try and see if we can do it. Um... Reference to D&D in RuneScape? Oh. Okay, alright. Oops. Crap. Stupid water geysers. Three, two... Oh my god. The thing is trying to mess me up. Is Bones to Bananas? I've never played it, so I don't know. Come on. I think we're supposed to go up the middle one. Oh, son of a- why? Why? Just why? Uh. Okay, fine. Freaking monsters. Um, okay. All right, there we go. Surge is back in his body, all is right with the world. Some boys take a beautiful girl and hide her away from the rest of the world. 
I wanna be the one to walk in the sun And girls, they wanna have fun Oh, girls just wanna have fun Alright, so Um, there's a bat That is not moving Okay, I'm pretty sure this is right Oh, no It is not It is not the right way The right way um, nope. Press this thing. Why can't you just let us climb up the damn stairs? Uh, I don't know, Lynx's outfit had drip. Um, it did, but, you know, Lynx is a jerk. Uh, and Lynx was being used by, uh, something. By the... By that supercomputer thing. Uh... They just wanna, they just wanna girls. Girls just wanna have fun. Uh, I love Cindy Lauper. She's amazing. Uh, like seriously, she's amazing. She's a queer icon. Uh, and she is absolutely wonderful. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so if we go. I don't think this is the right way either. I think we were supposed to like go down and then over and then up. Wait, I'm trying to remember how we get into the manor because they won't let us in so uh so wait 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 Can we not Can we not get in? You're supposed to be able to like jump up here. Oh there we go. There we go. So she said East Tower has her mother's memento. Well, we're in now, so looks pretty, pretty empty. Nope, that's, that's not right. Um, huh. Not letting anyone in, yay. Bops back in with a huff. Well, hello. Norl, I found it, but uh oh. So, how do I get in? We have to get the memento for Dor for Dario, and we can't get in. This is kind of crap. They're like, we should be withdrawing soon, and I'm just like, are you serious? Just leave. Okay, Norl, any ideas? Um, because we found Dario. I had to put Riddell in my party. That was a thing. But she says we have to go to Viper Manor to to get the memento, but I can't get in there because the soldiers are in there. Um, and then in Homeworld, it's destroyed and they won't let us through. Like, when the hell do they leave? Uh... That's freaking annoying. So I got in and now I can't leave. Uh, let us in. Whatever. Get the frick out of the way. I will shove you. I will shove you out of the way. I will throw a brick at your face. Are you just like, what? What? Uh, Commander Norris's superior officer has been sent back to the mainland. Glad we got that jerk out of here. Uh, Viper Manor. We went to Forbidden Island. We met Dario. Uh, he doesn't have his memories. And Riddell said we had to go back here. But we can't get in. Um, like, I went to Forbidden Island, but I think that's a side quest. But the thing is, it's like, we can't get in until they leave. So, I guess we're going back down. Uh, yes, go down the bluffs, it's fine. Um. Uh. Shove them, get them! 
I know they're like, we can't leave. We're, we're, we're stuck here forever because plot hole. And then it's like, can you just move out of the way so we can just get in there and get the thing we need? They're like, no, we can't, we can't leave. Sorry. Sorry about it. <laughs> ah, and apparently we're fighting monsters again. Uh, 20, 20, 24 hours to go. Oh, I wanna be so dead. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Okay, here we go. I wanna be so dead. Alright, so we'll just fight Gassy. Dead in two seconds. Uh, go, sorry, hurry, hurry. Get me on the plane. Alright. And we go down now. Yes, monster dead. They're dead. Nope, that's not the right way. Oh. Yeah, I'm just kind of like avoiding the silly the silly goose monsters. Okay. Okay. Alright. And we just climb all the way back down. Yeah, I tried to go in the home world, but the, the soldiers are blocking the way there too, so I'm not sure what we're supposed to freaking do. Uh, yes. Yeah, but I think that's a side quest. The thing is, is like I need to know where to go for the main quest too. Um, I wish it was a little more obvious about where to go. Uh. Okay, there we go. Wait, if we opened the island in in home world can we open the door in another world i don't know hang on let me see okay so we went in can we open the door now uh it's locked Okay, so in home world, it's not locked and Dario is there. In another world, nobody's there and it's locked. Uh, that's weird. Well, well, heck. Hmm. I wonder. There has to be a way to get there. To get in, because it doesn't make sense that we can't get in. Hmm. Wait, oh yeah, is the village okay now? Uh oh. Is the village. Hey. Hey man, sorry, only residents of Arnie are allowed through here. They're all taking shelter from the evils of Surge and his minions. Except that he's Surge, so yeah. Uh I don't know, maybe we have to do like main story stuff first. Uh, it's really weird. Hmm. It really doesn't make sense. So I'm just like, okay, so what do we do? Uh. Because we have to get Dario's memento so we can jog his memory, but it's not... We can't even get in, so... I'm not sure what we are supposed to do is really frustrating a little bit um so huh i don't know um yeah i'm having trouble figuring it out i guess we have to just go do main story stuff sorry riddell he's like it's cool uh let's put draggy back in yeah because they're not they're not leaving they're like we're gonna be withdrawing shortly and i'm just like when so 
It's okay. It looks like it's a side quest to request to to get Dario, but I don't understand. Okay, so main story wise, so Forbidden Island is Forbidden Island is a side quest. So I need to know where to go for the main story quest. I just that's one of the things that kind of bugged me about Chrono Cross. Well, Chrono Trigger. You kind of like knew where to go. Chrono Cross is a little more vague, which is a little bit frustrating sometimes. Um, okay, Astral Amulet. Go. Uh, there has to be a way to get them to leave. Like, there, there's something I'm missing. Because they need to leave, but they haven't left, so it might be we might have to do more story to get them to leave. Um, but is I don't know where to go. Uh, we could go talk to Lena, I guess. Uh, she's at the dock with her brothers. Um. Really flipping weird. Um, Serge, you seem different. Feels as if you're distancing yourself from me. Well, that's fine, but I just want you to be safe, okay? Okay, that was a weird conversation. Where the heck do we go after we defeat Dark Serge? Doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm just gonna look it up. I don't know. Um, because we got our body back. So, uh, because it doesn't make sense that it doesn't necessarily tell you where to go. Is it something about a dragon shrine? Um, right? Like, we, we did the dragon shrine, though. Um, we fought the Dark Surge. Uh, um, 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 um. Oh. Right, okay. Uh, I have to fight Dario? Uh, okay. But I can't... I have to fight Dario. That's annoying. And of course he's going to kill me. Why do we have why does everything require me to fight Dario? Like or fight people, you know, that we shouldn't have to fight. Um Okay. I don't have the black plate, so I'm probably going to die. Thing is, is like I tried to steal the black plate, and it wouldn't, and it wouldn't let me. Um, that's really annoying. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm looking it up because it's driving me crazy. That's not exactly clear, and it's just, uh. That's really infuriating. Uh, because, like, I don't think I was able to get into that room. Um, okay. So I'm supposed to get the memento pendant. But the thing is, is like, I don't know if I actually have it in my inventory. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh. 
got rid of my freaking accessories too. That's cute. Uh, Ultral helmet, no wonder. Um, wait, Dreamer's bandana. Demon charm, nope, that's not it. Um, this is frustrating me. Okay, uh, pff. silver pendant, resistance ring, uh, okay. But, I don't think, I don't think he has the memento. Uh, okay. Really weird. Um, yeah, it says I'm supposed to, it says I'm supposed to get it, but yeah, so I'm supposed to get it and I just, I wish that it would make things a little more obvious in this game because sometimes I don't know that I need something and then I freaking miss it. And that's really fucking irritating. Um, like, I love Chrono Cross, but at the same time, it can be a little frustrating when it doesn't... Like, when it expects you to know something and you don't know it. Um, okay, so I'm supposed to... See, the thing is, is like the soldiers are there and I can't get in. Uh, so, how do I even get it? Okay, I might, I might have to go to another world, to Isle of the Damned, to get it. Yeah, like, get it or you miss out items. Yeah, it's really weird, and it's a little bit... It's a little bit frustrating. Um, like, I know the game is old, but... Uh... Okay, hang on. I might have to get it from another world. If it's on Isle of the Damned... See, the thing is, is Riddell says it was in the in Viper Manor, but that's, but obviously I can't freaking get in there, so, you know, that's really weird. And it's claiming that I have to fight Dario, which is, just in order to get the Master Mune, which is kind of stupid. Um... Okay, and it's, it looks like it's claiming that I might have to have Riddell in my party, but I, I tried having her in my party and she's really weak. Like, I like her character, you know, with her story, but her character is really weak and take, cannot take hits for crap. Like, she's definitely meant to be a mage for sure. Um, okay. Let me see here. Uh, okay, Isle of the Damned. I just want to see. Because it's claiming. Yeah, see, and that's the thing too, is like two of the guys are telling me like two different things. So it's like, well, which one is it? Uh, like that's frustrating too. Okay, so I did the thing with the... With the light. Oh, right, with the light. I don't think this is right. Um, okay. How do we get up there? Um, yeah, because this is where we fought Garai. Uh, we had to fight Garai, and then we had to like get his memento. Wait, Garai's memento. A Garai keepsake. That was, what's his name? Okay, so if we go in here, 
Um. Okay, so there's all. Ugh, damn it. I just need to need to know where to go for the main story. I went to the Forbidden Island and I had to tell my party and like that was it. Like nothing else happened. So I'm just like, okay. And she's like, well, we have to get his memento. And I'm like, fine. But I can't even get into the freaking manor to get it. The, the memento she claims is there. Because the soldiers won't, won't leave. And I don't know what to do to get them to leave. Uh, well, the only thing I can come up with is like, okay, we'll just run and do like other things. Maybe they're like, because it seemed, they made it seem like it was a side quest thing, not a main story quest thing. And that's infuriating in itself. Uh, okay. Oh, right. The bell. Uh, where is that thing? Um the bell oh damn it there's supposed to be a bell here uh is it this okay all right so if we go up and over okay uh let's see if we go up here um oh crap it's salt and pepper the course you 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 actually shook it here do you knowingly know why we are here hell no what am i supposed to don't shake ignorance oh dear gosh we came to investigate what happened here Okay. Sakash, we, we would have stood by your side, unable to shake loose this one suspicion we had. Suspicion? We believe you may have killed Sir Dario. He did not kill Dario. Dario's alive. By shaking it here, our suspicion has turned to conviction. We are executing you for the murder of Sir Dario. He actually didn't kill any idiots. Dario. Oh dear. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. We get to see them. Oh, it's a little Karsh. Uh, <laughs> seriously, he didn't kill him. Oh my god, Bridell when she was little. How is your training coming, Gepkin Bon? Miss Bridell, uh, I brought something special for everyone today. Oh really? What is? <laughs> oh really? What is it? What is it? Viper churros? Wow, little Glen. Wrong answer, Glen. Next. Are they really that good? Uh huh. I can chop down ten of those easily. Okay. Haha, <laughs> you're always like that. Those churros were originally iron rations for knights. Overeating is not good discipline. So, Miss Riddell, what have you brought us? Please don't make us hold our breath too long. Here, I found them in Fossil Valley. Aren't they pretty? Oh shoot, it's just some flowers. Miss Riddell, did you go to the valley by yourself? What, I'm not allowed to? It's just the valley. I'm sure it's safe enough. Uh-oh. I have enough for everyone. I will give some to you boys. Glenn doesn't want any, right? Since you've gone to the trouble of getting them, I'll take one too. If I plant it seeds, I might get some good fruit from it. Oh, how silly of you, Glenn. Okay. So, flower for Glenn. Here you go, Glenn. I don't think it will grow any fruit, though. You don't know until you try. But flowers don't usually grow fruit. Harsh might not like things like flowers, but... No, it, it's not that. Okay. Um... Brought me one too. 
is beautiful. What kind of flower could this be? It is a bell flower. Rodel, if you ever wish for one of these flowers, I will go for you instead. Anything should happen to you. Let us go together. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes, very well. Oh. Hmm. Gosh, are you listening? Oh, oh, sorry. What is it? What's with the formality? Um, how should I... Actually, I... Why are you acting so strange? Spit it out! I, to tell you the truth... Gosh, we are pledged to marry. I've already told Daddy about it. That is what I wanted to tell you. Will you bless us with your approval, Kosh? Mary? <laughs> so that's it. Well, congratulations. So when's it gonna be and where? We haven't decided on a date yet. Oh, I think Karsh likes her too, but... He fell in love with his friend and he let it go. We still need to finish surveying the Isle of the Damned first. It's just that... Just what? I want the wedding here. The place where we have cried together, laughed together, shared our dreams, together. You never change, Dario. Hey, then I'll have to fill this dull vacant knot with loads of bellflowers. Just tell me if I can help you in any way. Thank you, Kosh. Okay, so what happened? Oh... Yeah, he liked Riddell too. Oh, wow. Wow. Must be it. Okay. Gosh, why are you in such a hurry? The enemy is not going anywhere and the footing here is bad. Why do you always have to be like that, Dario? The Masamune may be in there. Oh no, the cursed sword. Dario's place built like a Greek sculpture, yep. Any dragoon would be hyped to see that thing. Uh-huh. Take your brothers, you stay here. Uh, uh, okay. Let's get going, Dario. But it looks like Karsh... No wonder Riddell liked him. Well, it looks like he was really nice, too, but it looks like Karsh liked her, too. And he saw him, he threw her flower away. Fine. Oh goodness. Um. Oh boy. Is that the Masamune? Oh! Oh my God! Karsh got possessed by the sword. Was I really just possessed by that devilish sword? Driven by such intense hatred and envy. Maybe deep inside me, I was filled with hatred. Ario, the one whom I could never beat, no matter how much I tried. The one who stole Riddell's heart from me. Oh, come on, Karsh. I was right about that. He didn't steal her heart. It, the, people fall in love, man. It happens. Um, what if that sword does not embed hatred into the mind of its wielder? but instead draws out and ignites the flames of hatred hidden within the hearts of men. If that hatred was something deep within the wielder to begin with, then what have I... Oh, wow. He killed his friend? Oh my gosh. Back Riddle's choice, man. Yep. When he got possessed by the sword... And it looks like Dario tried to help him. Yeah, but you saw him. He threw him off the cliff. But Dario's not dead. He's in, in Serge's homeworld. <laughs> so you do know something about it. Take it easy. Why the hell do I have to fight you guys? No time for questions? What the hell? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And it looks like... He was sad about it, but the Masamune, like it did to 
the radius it it did a it did a bad oh my goodness okay all right hey don't hit draggy it's not his fault <laughs> oh my goodness gracious okay whoop okay here comes salt and pepper all right well here we go again Okay, so Draggy can do his thing. Alright, we got five. Uh oh. Also, does Draggy have dragonfly wings? Yes! Uh, high res. Oh, we're gonna have to fix that. Alright, well then. Ooh, flying arrow. Uh, I kinda wanna see what it does. Okay, here we go, here we go. That's our new one. Uh, oh! Oh, hello! Whoa! Oh! Snap! Flying arrow is awesome! Okay, uh, we also have carnivore. He has his summons, but I think... Alright, um... Okay, can we do axial axe? We can do Axial Axe. Okay, so he's yellow, so green is the appropriate response. Alright, there we go. Alright, and then... Draggy has Cough Mix and Inferno. Uh, Magma Burst. Oh, okay, so he has Cough Drop. Alright, so we'll do this. Like, hello. Wow. Uh, like cough drop packs quite a punch. All right, there we go. Uh, all right, and here we go again. Okay, so what else? What else we got? Um, let's do. Okay, let's do a weaken because pepper is a little stronger than salt. Right, elements, elements. Okay, do I have? Okay, so we'll do we'll do that one. It's like a light green attack. All right, and then I have I have things. Um. Okay, let's do just regular attacks. Uh oh, not thunderstorm! I think I'm finally understanding the combat system a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's fairly easy to, to follow. You know, we just with elements. Oh, okay, it didn't do as bad as I thought I did. Uh, okay, pet four. Uh, all right, pet four. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, how long before you can use magic and every time it levels up you can a newer tier spell? Uh, kind of, yeah, a little bit. Harsh learned Axiomatic! Nice, got his tech spell. Alright. Listen to me. I did not kill Dario. I know the time will come when I can speak the truth, but I can't just yet. I hope you understand. The Kosh! Come to an understanding after that battle we just had. You were not an evil person. You would never kill your best friend. Please forgive us. Looking back now, you were the one who took us under your wing, even though we were Dragoon outcasts. You are very special to us, Sir Kosh. We believe you, Sir Kosh. We must be on our way, but we hope to see you again sometime, somewhere. When that time comes, we hope you will be readily ready to tell us what really happened. Uh, and we're sorry we took this from you. We're shaking it back to you. Unbelievable. They had the memento pendant. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. One day, I promise to tell you guys the truth. Take care. Unbelievable. 
See, they had the memento. Son of a bitch. Uh, well, there was, yay, we did it, Noro. <laughs> He's like, are those guys okay? Yeah, so I think if I'm remembering correctly with the story, the thing is, is the Masamune, it possessed Dario. And Karsh tried to stop him because it he tried to kill his friends. Um, and they were trying to stop him and it just, it ended up that way. Um, so it looks like Karsh killed him, but he actually didn't. Uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum over here, yeah. Yeah, Karsh is just like, are you serious right now? Like, I didn't do shit. Like, can you, can you not? It was on Isle of the Damned. Yeah, like, sometimes the guys are kind of confusing. Because they give, like, conflicting stuff. And you're just like, that, that's not right. Uh, alright, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh, no, no, that's right. We gotta go. We gotta go up and out. Nah, you stay away. Pew pew lasers, pew pew lasers. Uh, I think that's right. The right way? Yeah, there we go. Uh... Yeah, and the thing is, is like we're gonna have to fight Dario, which I'm not looking forward to, because it's you know it's again another another butthole fight. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> so there's a good chance I might die. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, oh, there we go. Ray, they're sailing away. La 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 la. la. Come sail away, come sail away. Uh, alright, so let's hear how how we doing on our, our health. Our health. I know, it's just like we have to fight Dario again and it's just like, oh, it's gonna be such a pain. Um, do, 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 do. I think because Karsh knows him too, uh, that'll work. Uh, 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 uh. Do, 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 do. But, but, you know. So if we go, okay, so we got to go back to Homeworld. Um, I'm not going to have Riddell in my party because I don't know. I don't think it's a good idea uh, with as weak as she is. Um, amulet. Uh, hi Screech, how are you? Uh, I know because the thing is, is they're like, oh, equip the black plate. It's just like, oh, you mean the black plate that I was not able to steal from the black dragon, even though I tried multiple times? Um, yeah, because that, that thief ability only works like one time. And it's just like, and it's just, it's so silly that it's based on RNG. Um, okay, we're going to go to, I need to go to a save point. I mean, we could save on the map, but... Better to save at a actual save point. Um, okay, we'll go to the inn. We'll go to the inn and we'll just do like this. And we'll save. Save, save, save. Save our game. La 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 la. Uh, Alright. So we're gonna have to use the memento and we're gonna have to do a thing. Oh boy. Alright, here we go. Forge your boat, yep. Alright, so now now we'll just go like this. Right here, here we are. Hope I don't die, who knows. Okay, so we have the memento. Uh, 
although she didn't seem to judge more just not expecting that. Um, well that's good. Good for you. Uh, I'm okay. Uh... He doesn't remember. Uh... This lady says she knows him, right? Uh, doesn't everyone have things in the past they wish to forget? Please do not torment him any further. We live a quiet life here. Please leave us alone. I think she's just his friend, but... Still... Uh... But still... Alright. So... Her name is Dario? It's useless unless Riddell shows it to him. Riddell, 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 Riddell... It has to be Riddell? It's, it's really telling me it has to be Riddell. Um... Uh, okay. But basically it's telling me I have to have Riddell in my party. Alright, I'm gonna have to equip her with some stuff then. That's a little annoying. The thing is, is like, I don't want to fight him with Riddell in my party because she's not exactly... Uh, she's not exactly the strongest. Um... Let me see what I can do. Uh, Alright, equip. Let's equip her with some things that can protect her at least. Uh, gold pendant, uh, magic ring, trashy tiara. Um. Oh, uh, protection against the anti-white. Um, that should... That should actually go to Surge. Um, okay, Resistance Ring, Silver Pendant. Uh, where the heck did it go? Um, Angel Charm. Actually, put the Angel Charm there. Um, okay. You know, looking at graphics in some newer games? Well, it, it is a remaster, so... Uh... A okay, magic ring. Um... The memento pendant could improve... Her magic defense. Star fragment. Uh, elbow pad, silver loop. Ivory helmet. Hearing of light. Um... Okay, I guess let's do that. Okay, and then I have to allocate some elements for her. Um, all right, uh, okay, let's do strong minded and then give her give her some recoveralls. Um, okay, so then. We're gonna need some stuff that basically lowers his defense. Uh... Right, uh, okay. So Cure Plus... Right. Should have... Okay, we have... Yeah, so I'm gonna give her some things... Uh, okay, temporarily increase. Well, they, okay, so she has things like snake skin. Um, I diminish, and then let's give her uh, some more gravitone as well. All right. Um, okay, so then trying to see what else I have that she can could use okay so let's give her a another a couple i'm gonna have to make her like big time like backup heal with uh with surge um okay we'll give her a cure plus uh and then okay let's give her a couple of cure pluses uh 
All right, so so we can do. Oh, axiomatic is for Karsh. Okay, I I'll put that on him in a minute. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we can give an uplift. Uh, so let's do a couple of those, and then can do electro jolt. I think. I want to make sure I have all her slots filled. Yep, that's what I thought. Uh, okay. Um. Give her another couple magma bombs, uh, and then we can give her, uh, Aqua Ball's not very strong, but it's better than nothing, so we'll give her a couple more recovers, um, and another weekend. Alright, so, uh... I don't really have a lot of stuff. I might hit, have to hit up one of the merchants. Um, okay, nimble, numble. Uh, let's give her. Okay, so let's give her that. Oh, we can't put that there. Genius increases magical power. Okay. Okay, that, that everything. Right. I think we have all of the slots full. Okay, let me give, we give Karsh his, uh, his spell. Um, okay. Axiomatic Genie, Inferno, uh, okay, he has Tornado, yeah, I'll, I'll switch that in. Uh, yep, we're gonna have to take a little trip, yeah. Like, why does Riddell have to be the one to give it to him? I barely used her, because, like, I tried her out to see how she worked, and... And it just like it wasn't it wasn't great. Um like you have to do physical attacks, you know, to basically get the element slots unlocked. And her attacks are very weak and she's not very strong. Plus she doesn't have a lot of defense, even with accessories equipped. So it's a little bit she's a little bit too squishy. Um so I don't know how this is gonna go. I guess we'll see. Um, but before we do that, I have to go take my break. Uh, I need to take my stretch break. Uh, we've been streaming for about three hours, so uh, I need to do that. Get some water, so if you need to take a stretch break, now's a good time to do it. You know, get some water, get some snacks. Uh, if it's time to take your meds, make sure you take your meds. Alright, uh, and I'll be right back and we'll see how this fight goes. Uh, Alright, be right back everyone.
All right, everyone. Thank you for waiting. Uh, I'm back. Uh, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna see what this fight is like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we actually have to fight him. Um, but I guess we'll we'll see. Okay, so let's go on the boat. Um. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Julius. Okay, so we're gonna run aboard the boat. Um, I don't know why it has to be Riddell that has to do it. I mean, Karsh is his friend, uh, his best friend, but he's like, no, Riddell has to do it. And I'm just like, that's silly, but okay. Uh, so let's hope this goes over well. Who knows? Uh, I'm not sure how he got this world from his world though it's so weird uh all right okay here we go so uh again memento pendant said riddell has to do it right Okay, there we go. Uh, this pendant is a memento from your mother, and the gift you gave me when we got engaged. This is... Try to remember. We've been together since we were little. And we will continue to be. I will always be there for you, Dario. The Del... Run! Oh, crap. Run? Ah! Uh oh, Riddell, Riddell, that's right, Riddell. <gasps> oh, we think it's the Masamune. This, this is bad. Uh oh. What? What's wrong? No, don't touch him. Oh, frick! What the? Uh oh. Oh. The Masamune? Dario! Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, this is not happening. No, Dario! Oh, this is not happening! Riddell, mine sword thirsts for your blood. I knew it! The Masamune never actually disappeared from Death's Gate. It just returned to its rightful, our, its rightful owner. Wait a minute, then that means Dario is still... What really happened? I thought Dario died fighting demons on the Isle of the Damned! Actually... Oh no, he's still cursed! Is that the Masamune? Oh, oh god. Oh no. Oh... Dario! What do you think you're doing? Oh shit! Die! Oh no! Death to all living creatures! Okay, that that that's not good. <laughs> it possessed him. Don't tell me it's that sword, Dario. Let go! Oh, he tried to. Oh, he tried to kill his friend. Oh my goodness! What the frick? Oh, Dario, it's me, Karsh! Oh no! Oh! Ooh! Damn! Oh dang! See, this is why cursed swords are bad. Kill me, Karsh! Hurry! No! Do it, Karsh, or else I'll... No, Dario, I can't! Please step out of it, Dario! Your <laughs> Snickers, not you when you're hungry! So he begged Karsh to kill him because he knew the curse had taken hold. Oh, frick. Yeah, that's Garai, isn't it? <laughs> you idiot. I gave you a chance. You cannot beat me. You are but a mere mortal. Who is that? First, I will dispose of you, and then 
Riddell. Oh no. I shall let the Masamune sate itself on Riddell's blood. Um, have a good night, Screech. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Damn you! Ah! Oh, so he couldn't kill him, so he kicked him off the cliff. Dario! What have I done? Pathetic fool. You were... Dario is killed by demons. Understand, Kosh? Wow. It was Lynx. But... Are you going to tell everyone about what you just did? Are you willing to tell Riddell that you murdered Dario because he was possessed by the evil soul? Uh-oh. Do not worry. Do as I say, and everything will be just fine. Oh, wow. Wow. Dario. Uh-oh. Wow. So it was Lynx. Now I understand. Dario was possessed by the enmity of the Masamune too. Prepare yourselves! I guess there's no way out of this. I cannot face Dario in battle. To abolish the darkness, we must defeat the Masamune. This is the only way to save Dario. Please don't, don't make me get the spray bottle. Bad kitty. Oh no, Garai, it's the Masamune. Face the enmity of my sword. Oh no. Oh, why do we have to fight this asshole? It's like, why do we always end up fighting these assholes? Uh, okay, so his element is black. Oh, this is gonna be not good. This is gonna be most not good. Oh my goodness. Why are you hurting? Are you kidding me? Riddell's dead now? Do you see what I mean? She is too squishy. She is way too squishy. Way too squishy. We have to do it. We have to. We have to. We have to. Maybe Karsh can do the thing. Ah. Uh, oh boy. Okay. Ah, uh, crap. Not conduct a rod. Well, that's gonna kill me. We're bad. We're we're totally boned. Yep, I knew it. Why the hell do we have to fight him? Riddell needs to bulk up. Uh, we're gonna die. We're gonna freaking die. We are gonna freaking die. Yeah, see, it's just like, oh. Equip the black plate. The thing is, is like you have to steal the black plate from one of the dragons. But the thing is, is um, the thing is, uh, okay, who do I revive first? Surge, I guess. Um, yeah, the thing is, is like if you fail it, they're like, oh, just reset your game, and I'm like, that's really stupid, you know. So. I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, oopsie. Oh no, not dash and dash. Oh no. Am I dead? I'm dead, aren't I? Uh, alright, Karsh, I need you. Okay, we're gonna have to recover all. I don't know if we should waste time re reviving Riddell, honestly, but. Uh, oh boy. But we kind of need her alive, I guess. Um, I know. I'm just like I'm trying to think of whether or what I can do to uh, revive her. <laughs> okay, because she has white elements as well. So, uh, okay, what was Snake Eyes? Use the power of snake to heal your party. Use the power of white snake to heal your party. 
like White Snake the band? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, okay, so. Okay. That that work? Oh no, here he comes again. What a putt. Uh. What a putt. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Um. Photon Ray. We're gonna have to do dash and slash. Uh, White Snake the band. <laughs> Aha, great minds. Oh no, not Conductor Rod. Come on, stop killing Surge. This is bullshit. He keeps one shotting Surge and it's really pissing me off. What the hell am I supposed to do if he keeps killing the one guy that I need? God, this is such a douche. Like, seriously, man, you're a douche. <laughs> it's just like you really couldn't handle a cursed sword, you big baby. Uh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't have any more revives, so that's it. Surge is dead. <laughs> um. Okay, come on. Yeah, see, and it's because I don't have the black plate, but the thing is, is like, I tried to steal it multiple times, I couldn't do it. Like, the freaking RNG wouldn't let me, and it was really annoying. Uh, okay. I don't know how we're supposed to do this. Like, why do you have bosses like this that are just, like, impossible? It's like, and he's not even hurt! Like, really, man? Like, not even a scratch. I really need a surge alive. Uh, well, that's gonna hurt Karsh. Um, okay, where, can I summon... Can I summon his... Oh wait, I can't summon his genie unless it's all green. That's right, I forgot. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, Axial Axe it is. Uh... Res... Right. Got it, you're a dick. Um... Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm probably gonna fail this fight. I know it's to get Surge's, like, Masamune, but... Oh, she's dead now, too? Cool! Perfect! Do we really have to fight him? I think we can go just do the main story without him. Um... Such a jerk. Okay, uh, one more. Uh... I want to say tornado. I don't necessarily think it's required that we fight him, but but I'm not sure. Yeah, like see, there's there's like nothing up with this guy. He's not hurt at all. This is ridiculous. Norrell, do I have to fight him? Great, we're dead. We did Sonic Sword. Um... Oh my god, I hate fights like this. Great, we're, we're toast. We're toast. So basically, it's me healing all by my lonesome because. Yeah, because we have to have Surge in our party. He's the hero. So I'm basically fucked. Uh. Oh, what a shock. We're dead. Let me show you my fucking surprise face.
Yeah, I get it. Blah, 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 fate, you know, blah, blah, whatever. Give me a break. This is why I didn't want Riddell in my damn party. This is exactly why I didn't want her there. Good God. Uh, but it's forcing me to fight this asshole with Riddell. And I'm like, that's total crap. I don't want her in my party. She sucks. And I only have so many revives, so what the hell am I supposed to do? Like, if I don't have to fight him, I don't want to fight him. Right? Like, I know it's to get... It's to get Surge's Masamune, it's to get his his Master Mune, to get his sword, but if I don't have to fight him, I don't want to fucking fight him. Um... Yeah, and I don't know if it- I don't remember if it's part of the main story, because they're like, oh, just equip the Black Plate. It's just like, well, what are you supposed to do if you weren't able to steal the Black Plate because the game's RNG kind of screws you over? Right? So basically, and Surge is required for the party because he's the main party member. Um, like, he's the main character. So, so it's really annoying um, that I'm being forced to do this fight. Because I feel like it's a side quest, and if it's a side quest, then I don't want to fight him. Um, yeah, like, if it's to require to get the sword, then... If it's just for the sword, then I'm just tempted to say fuck it and leave. Like, I mean, sorry, sorry about your loss, Riddell, but he's kind of an asshole. Uh, like, seriously. Um. Okay. So, I think, I think I need to have Draggy in the party, I don't know. Um, so, okay, uh, required for the main story, uh, that is, um, okay, so if I don't need to do it, I don't need to do it. It's saying, one of the things it suggested was just hitting him with nothing but red elements. Like, just non-stop red elements, because apparently if you hit him with red elements, all he does is cast Numble. But I don't know if that's necessarily true. Um. Uh. He doesn't have Inferno. Of course he doesn't. And the thing is, is like, he hits them for, like, a ton of, of damage. Ridiculous. Um, okay, does it say where I have to go next for the main story then, Norl? Because if I lose again, I'm just not gonna do it. I don't care. I don't need Dario that bad. I don't need the sword that bad. Um, I know it's like a, a powerful sword for Surge, but do I really need it? Really? Um, okay, Magma Bomb. Who else has Inferno? Uh... Alright, so... I just- I hate fights like this and I forgot... I forgot that so much of Chrono Cross has bullshit fights like this, like the fight with Garai, the fight with Miguel, but the fight with Miguel is part of the main story. So you're forced to do it. Um... And it's just a little bit annoying. Uh, okay, magma bomb, magma bomb, yep, we're, we're doing this. Um, okay, so recover all, recover all. See, the thing is, is like, he has a revive, and Karsh has a revive. Um, okay, Karsh, Karsh, Karsh. This is why I wanted Draggy with us because he has really good. He has really good. Um, a fire, you know, really good uh, red element spells. 
Um, on. Making a lot of noise. Farting noises. Hmm. Hmm. The diet I found in this level, a bunch of characters you can get uh, and let end the level 7 tech. Okay. Well. Alright. Cover. Cover. Okay, magma bomb. Um. All right. Oh, he has anti-yellow. Okay. Ah, there's the other revive. Um. Yep, we're doing this. Let's see if this works. We die again, then we're just going. Um. Oh, we have to go to the portals. That's why, because now that we have Surge's body back, we have to go to the fate distortions. Uh, so this is like side stuff that we need, that we can do. We don't have to do it. Blah, here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Because he didn't die, because Karsh didn't kill him, even though he probably should have. I know we couldn't kill his friend, but that's just, not good so we'll try again but he has this for like 400 a pop and it's just like i'm sorry but that's ridiculous um oh brother is there any way to skip this shit nope we can't skip the cutscene okay um why did he touch the sword when somebody tells you don't touch the sword don't touch the freaking sword Especially if you know it's a cursed sword. Um. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yes, this is the Masamune. Right, etc., etc. Oh, my goodness. What do you think you're doing? Yep. That's all, yes. Yeah, so apparently, the Masamune is pretty. Pretty nasty. Uh, looking through the list of people. Don't touch the shiny, right? And he did it. She's like, don't touch that sword. And he's just like, let me show how dumb my ass is and touch it. And it's just like, of course. He told her to run and then the Masamuna came for him. But then he went over and touched it. Just like, instead of letting him touch the sword, why didn't you stab him? Seriously. Um... Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Uh, yep, Riddell. Yeah, we get it. Yeah, blood. Uh, totally touched the tiny. <sighs> Arch, why didn't you just kill him like he asked? Then we wouldn't have to be fighting him. Um,. I know, I know, it's really hard to kill your best friend when he's cursed by an evil sword, but this all could have been avoided! <laughs> uh, see, and, and then we could have used the spray bottle on Lynx, and, and that would be that. Um, nope. Uh, all right. Why is Riddell required for this fight? It's so dumb. It is so, so damn dumb. Uh... Alright, we'll try one more time and then I'm just gonna go to the fake distortions. I'm not joking. I'm not- I don't have time for this shit. Like, I really don't. Um... Okay, blah blah. Oh, coming for Surge again? How original! How fucking original. <laughs> Seriously. And then the freaking dodging. Why are you always dodging? Just stand there and let us hit you. So we can unlock the element slots. Oh, for Pete's sake. Here we go again. Oh, what a shock. Riddell got hit for 700 damage. 
Son of a... Like, I'm so over this freaking asshole. Um... <laughs> and there and let us hit you. I mean... You know... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I had to use one powerful thing. Uh, oh great, that's gonna kill Surge. Yep, that, I, oh I forgot, I'm supposed to use the red element. Like, I'm sorry, there should be a rule that you don't get to like hit people for like 700 points of damage, which is like, your entire HP pool, the please. Why do you have freaking? Where the hell is the revive? Uh. No, no, no. We want surge. Um. I just I find fights like this so annoying. Uh. Okay. All right, come on. Nope. Okay. Uh, like more and more, I'm not sure I'm going to finish Chrono Cross because I forgot about so much of this stuff that is irritating. Um, okay. See if this works. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh... Because they said that if you use red elements, that then he'll just stand there and cast Numble the entire time. Uh, like the stockpile red element. Okay. I'm gonna use Snake Eyes. Uh, so I'm seeing if that works. Um, but the thing is, is, he has so much HP, and that's the other thing too, is like it doesn't. It doesn't show you how much HP they have, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, reverse. Okay, I mean, I know it's not going to hit him for very much, but... Uh, okay. Yeah. Alright. Cool, you hit him one time, Serge. Cool. Good god. Uh we're okay. This is I guess this is one way to do it. Huh. That's interesting. So it's a weird cheat in the game, <laughs> but if it's what works, okay. Of course, if he tries to hit Surge, that's not cool. Um, God, dude, you're such a dick. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to have Surge heal. I don't like fights like this, and I think they're stupid. Uh. One more. Okay, Riddell, 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 um, weaken? Yeah, we can weaken, I guess. Ah! I wonder why that works that way. Uh, okay. Like, are we even hurting him a little? I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Fine, have it your way, asshole. Um. Well, let's see what we can do. Okay. Hmm. Um, okay, I am gonna have her heal everybody. Uh, 
Wow. That is so weird. Okay. Like, is he even hurt? Crap, it's not Sonic Sword. Well, Riddell's dead. Maybe. I don't know. Um... I'm really tempted to, to use Tornado, but I'm a little scared too. Uh... Alright, uh, let's try Magma Burst. Because when I looked it up, apparently somebody suggested this and that they, they won this way. They stockpiled a bunch of red elements and then all he did was cast Numble. Um... That's a weird cheat, but... Hey! Alright, um... Okay, one more. Wow, she hit him for nine. Why are we forced to use her in this fight again? Ah. I kind of want to use Meteor Shower, but I'm scared. Okay, if we do one Meteor Shower, what happens? We're probably going to die, but we have to do something. I can kill him, I guess. I know, I did yell stand there and let us hit you. And I'm just like, this is this is how I get. Ron's right, I'm I'm a little competitive angry baby. Uh yep, I'm dead. I'm dead. Should have stuck to the plan. Should have stuck to the plan. Uh I'm dead. Does she have a revive? Alright. Um, I'm just gonna protect Karsh as best we can do. Uh, um, uh, I don't even know if this jerk is hurt. He's definitely not acting like he's hurt. Eight. So basically, I'm toast. Yep. I'm toast. Fun. Eat this guy. Alright. Do anything? So basically the slow way is hit him with nothing but red elements and then he just casts Numble the entire time. And then we just die of old age because he's just going to take forever because apparently he has ridiculous amounts of HP. Um, perfect. Why are there fights like this throughout the game that are just frustrating as shit? Uh, okay, did I use up my last revive? Um... We're going to bed, Ron. I also don't like there's only three revives in the entire game and you have to find them in treasure chests. It's beyond frustrating. Uh, Alright, so we gotta sing us off Kitty to Noral. <laughs> oh, Kitty! Little ball of fun, happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Wow, Jake was a little late to the party, but he's... Ha! Ha! Good boy, Jake! Good boy! Good boy! Ma's added a new command. Jake, time for me to sing too! Uh. <laughs> well, good night, Tron. Yes, good night, everybody. Love you all. Have fun with Mama and her dirt. Yeah. And Mama. All her dads. Yeah, I, I love you most of all. 
I love you too. Have a good Makes me happy every time you all do that. Oh, just Jake, just Jake being a happy boy. Um, yes, uh, I'm not sure how that came about. It was just like, I just suggested it and Nora was like, what's soft kitty? And I said, it's from Big Bang Theory. And then I sang it to her and she really liked it. And now- it apparently your dreams. Yes. Apparently it's, yeah, it's so Nora doesn't have her, her words, weird dreams. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh my goodness. Alright. See, I don't think I have enough. I'm like out of red. Screw it. We're gonna die anyway. Uh, <laughs> gonna die anyway. Like, seriously, he's already killed, sir. I, I, I got greedy and I used meteor shower, so I'm just like, okay, fine. Okay, so then he used low res. Fine. Is he even hurt? Nope, he's not hurt at all. We're dead. We're super dead. Uh... Like, I can't believe Karsh is, like, the strongest one. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not doing this. You know what? I'm sorry. We're not gonna get his Master Mune. Um, like, this is not worth the aggravation for me. Uh... Like, and all we're doing is curing, curing, curing. So, yep, we're dead. Uh, I wish it would show how much HP he has because this is a little bit frustrating. Uh, damn it. I don't have any revives. Uh, right, fine. One more, and I miss. Yep, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh boy. I should heal, but really, what's the point? He's just gonna win anyway. Uh, pff. no matter what I do, he keeps kicking my ass. Uh, so... Cover all, I guess. I don't know. I guess I'm healing. Yep. See, and so it doesn't matter. It's just like, eat. yeah, we're 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 dead. Yeah. You know what? Screw this. I'm not gonna bother with Surge's freaking sword. Um, I know they're like, oh, you should go get it because it's really strong. Well, you know what? I'm really not in the mood to get my ass handed to me by a freaking optional boss. Um, like, that's just infuriating. And I'm, I'm removing Riddell from my party, because holy crap, man. <laughs> uh, it, that is not worth my time. Um, this is the first boss in, in Grandia all over again. <laughs> And I'm just like, you know what? Nah. I'm good. I'm good. Alright. Yep. Sorry about it, Riddell. You're just gonna have to go on without him. I'm not doing this shit. Uh. And if it's optional, I'm not doing it. Sorry, not sorry. Uh. Something you don't have that plate thingy. Yeah, the black plate. And the thing is, is like, it's not like I didn't try to steal it. I did. This is one of the things about the battle system that is a little frustrating. Like once you use something in battle, you can't use it again, which is why I stack so many elements. Uh, you know, so many of the same elements so that I have like a full arsenal. But, um, but, but with like, Fargo, you know, who has the thief ability, right? They're like, oh, you can steal it. 
except they, what they don't tell you, and, and it's the same thing with Kid too, when I would try to have her steal stuff, she would fail it almost like 90% of the time. Same with Fargo. And that's really freaking infuriating. Like, you know that he needs this vital item, right? And instead of just like having it drop after the fight, oh, it's required to steal it because if you don't steal it, then you don't get it. But Fargo could only steal things, you know, the one time. Like, that's an inherent ability he has, and it's the only time he gets it, right? But if he misses it, it's over. And there, and the, the freaking messed up part is their thing is, is like, oh, if you don't steal it, reload your last save and start the fight over. And I'm sorry, do I look like I got that kind of time? Most of us don't have that kind of time, right? So, so it's really frustrating that they, they have the system set up that way, right? And it's the remaster. It's the remaster. They could have addressed this. They could have made it easier. They could have, you know, like with Final Fantasy IX, I love Final Fantasy IX, but they knew that level grinding would kind of be a chore for people. But with the remaster, they have it so you can basically put it in god mode. Like, you can have them all be like level 99, and you know, and they can be like OP and just tear through things so you can just enjoy the story. And I kind of wish they had done that with the Chrono Cross remaster. Because it would make things a lot freaking easier and less frustrating. Because, like, sure, it would be great to have Surge's sword. I mean, I did it a long time ago when the game first came out. It was really frustrating and I died a lot. Um, but, but I did do it and honestly, yeah, sure. It's, it's his ultimate weapon and, you know, but his ultimate weapon is actually the Chrono Cross. Um, so, so it's like, don't even really need the Master Mune. So it's just like a side quest designed to frustrate you. You know, and they're like, well, it's it's the challenge. You know, it's the challenge. And it's just like, I got enough challenges. I got enough challenges. Like, for real. <laughs> oh, I got enough challenges in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so I guess I'm going to keep, you know, the fire pillars and things that I put in. Um, uh, but it's just like that, that is really irritating and is really annoying um okay allocate karsh like i want to finish chrono cross but at this rate if it keeps being frustrating for me i'm probably gonna shelve it um you know and move on to the next thing because there's other games that i want to play through again uh like i'm actually really considering playing through witcher 3 again um and honestly, maybe doing some Katamari or some Greedfall. I'm kind of in the mood to play through Greedfall again. I know that's weird because I know Greedfall didn't do as well as most like RPGs, but I thought it was interesting. Even though the ending is a little bit abrupt, right? Noral knows what I'm talking about because we talked about that ending being kind of like weird because it was like... <laughs> um because uh the ending just kind of went like nah <laughs> it went okay we're done bye and we're just like wait 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 what what, what happens after <laughs> what happens after <laughs> it's like we don't know <laughs> it was just like uh, okay cool cool <laughs> yeah okay you're done bye yeah it's just like wait but what about what about happy endings and, and things we're like we don't know. We just, uh, we, we wrapped the story up. You, you beat the bad guy. Good job. Uh, we'll see you next time. And it was like, w but, what? <laughs> oh, and it was like, yeah, they were like, all right then. Bye now. Uh, good job. <laughs> and you're like, um, yeah. Also, the, the bit with, like, the, the cousin, right? Honestly, I think we are going to do a, a Greedfall playthrough again because I did like the game and the fight system was really cool and it did address issues like colonizing indigenous people. Um, so, but I remember being kind of skeeved out by her cousin because I played as a girl 
and her cousin gave off like like Cersei and Jamie Lannister vibes and not and it was it was all creepy and weird and I was just like am I the only one that's sensing that and Nora was like nah I like I, I'm like a little creeped out by this dude too because <laughs> it was like he's he's your cousin and it's weird <laughs> like it's weird yeah so it, it kind of gave off like kind of like creepy you know creepy kind of behavior from him like he's just like oh i love you cousin and and you're just like 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 love love because that's that's not cool <laughs> oh we're like mm -hmm. um oh and it has pirates it has like really cool uh because there's a character because there is romance in the game to a degree um and i i really like the pirate guy uh yeah they have they have like really cool like blue like tattoos on their face like woad um and all the different patterns mean different things depending on um like what they do at sea uh, so so Greenfall was absolutely an interesting game and it had really cool like fairy creatures and fantasy creatures and you know it had like really good potential but i just like wish the ending had been a little better yeah just a little bit like okay we're done now um okay axiomatic okay i think i think we're good um yeah we're gonna go to the fate portals because i think that's what we're supposed to do and they're like you should level grind more but the thing is is like it doesn't really it doesn't really give you like levels it's like oh there's you have a certain amount of slots to do everything in um yeah it's just like well it's like with the first grandia game i kept getting my ass handed to me even though i was the right level for for the final boss right and i kept getting my ass handed to me and i was just like you know what this isn't fun for me as far you know and Noro looked up the the youtube video and posted the, the video in chat so people could see the end of the game and i was just like we're just going to move forward to grandia 2 which is my personal favorite grandia because sometimes a game you're, you realize you're not having fun with a game and you're just like you know what i think i need to shelve it i think i need to just not not do it you know and people are like well you should finish games and it's like it's okay if you don't finish a game seriously um, because sometimes it's not fun and you realize, you know what, I don't, I don't think this is for me. So, okay, I think we're supposed to go to the Dead Sea Ruins in Homeworld. Because now that Serge has his body back, we might be able to do this now? Okay, oh, it's glowing. I deem you worthy of entering the Sea of Eden. Okay. Yay, I guess? Let the path be known for the ones facing their fate. Uh, oh, what the- Ooh! All the orbs went in the- Uh-oh. Okay. Well... Do we just go in the- the thing? Where where are we? Present. Present. Okay, so we're in the present. Present fate. Clotho. Oh shit. Right, 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 right. Uh do we have to fight the three fates? I'm trying to remember. Oh. Yeah, because after we play Kina, um after we finish Kina and Dragon Quest Heroes. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to play after finishing Kina because we, we need to finish Dragon Quest Heroes also. I was thinking God of War, but I also want to play through like the Mass Effect trilogy again. Wait, is this one of the pieces of fate? Hi, there's a statue. Hello. Oh, Clo okay, Clotho, spinning the thread of life. Uh, you don't have to fight her, do we? Asking for a friend. Oh, the shard went somewhere? Okay, that's weird. 
That's weird. Okay, do we go... Fake distortion. Oh, it's like a triangle. Um, past, present, future. Oh. Past. Okay. So Atropo is here. Hello, Atropo. So the three threads of fate. Hello. Uh, Atropo cutting the thread of life. Um, well, well then, a little scary. Hi, no, nothing, nothing to do with the statue. All right, All right. Um, well then, okay, do we go around? Oh yeah, it's like a big mountain waterfall thing. Uh, okay, fate distortion. And future! To the future! Yeah, we also have Rune Factory 5 that we're playing. I don't know, somebody asked me if I played Rune Factory 4 and I said no. And then they were like, oh, you should play it. And I was like, I don't know if I should because, like, I'm already playing through 5. Um, like, I like the Rune Factory games, but... But the thing is, is Rune Factory 5 has, like, same-sex marriage and Rune Factory 4 doesn't. So, kind of, I don't know, it just seems like a step back. So... Yeah, no. Uh... Oh, okay, which one? Okay, future... Is Lachesis. Okay. Measuring the thread of light. Alright. So, now where do we... Uh oh. Oh god. Art thou worthy of accepting fate? I... Um, I don't know. I don't know, I just got here. Oh, freaking shit. <laughs> Are we being tested? Oh, crap. This is main story, so... Oh, good, it's a face. I'm so glad we get to fight a giant face. We get to fight a giant face. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Wait. Vita Duo? Its innate is green? Okay. Are we supposed to do something with the... With the... Lock hands, I want to say? Um... There's a giant face. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! See, Surge is fine. Um... Oh boy. Oh yeah, I think we have all our friends back too. Um, oh, oh no, not Eagle Eye. Oh god, why? Why though? Why though? Why though? Oh, you're... Okay, bosses that cure themselves are bullshit. I'm just throwing that out there. Bosses that cure themselves are bullshit! Uh, okay. We'll go draggy. I, does this mean we have kid back now? I don't remember. Oh no, not volcano. Oh no. Why do they have everything? Really? This is just rude. Lotho has stopped functioning. What does that mean? Um. Come on, draggy. Come on, draggy. Surge is gonna have to be... Surge is gonna have to be healing person again. There you go, Karsh. Uh-oh. What? I think they're clock hands? <sighs> alright, 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 alright. Ooh, carnivore. Yes. Carnivore! That's right. He has that now. Aw, oh, that's all it did? Rude. Cure plus. Uh, magma burst. Should we use cough drop? Or should we use... Wait, he should have... Oh, he has Volcano Zoo. Inferno. Cough mix. Inferno. Uh, cough mix. I think that kind of works. 
Oh, dang, Draggy. Um, I don't know. It's kind of freaking me out that it's just like a levitating face. This is why, also why I don't trust clowns. Um. Okay. Uh, let's do a heal all for everybody. Um, like seriously, you know when I was looking for like when I first got Lolly. I was looking for like a villager to move in. I was so happy to find Lolly. It was a total accident. There was, um, oh gosh, what's that villager's name that looks like a clown? Uh, he was on the island and you know what I did? I ran the other way. I don't like clowns. I know that would make Ope sad because I think that's one of Ope's favorite villagers, but I don't, I don't like clowns. <laughs> And I see this little clown sheep, and I'm just like, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, and then he started following me, and I was just like, nope, and I ran to the plane. <laughs> I ran to the plane, and I was just like, I, I'm done. Bye now. <laughs> I was like, no, no more, no more clown sheep for me. Um, okay, seriously, Atropo has stopped functioning. What am I supposed to do when it cures itself? Like, seriously? Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay. So now it's Draggy's turn. Eyes from clowns. My mom has a collection of clowns. What? Why? I mean, if that's what she's into, cool, but also why? Also, why? <laughs> why? Why though, Norl? You don't like clowns, do you? I'm, I'm uh, asking for a friend. Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay. Uh. Graviton. Uh. Eagle Eye. Recover. Oh. Oh. Dragon Rider. Dragon Rider. Oh, right, we also have to cure Serge. Crap. Um... He thinks they're cute? When? When are they cute? Because... No. <laughs> because no. <laughs> eh, I'm really neutral on him. Uh, oh my gosh, what? Are we even hurting Floating Face? The, it's the three fates into a... Oh crap. Wait, no, Karsh has green, so... Yeah, Karsh is green, so guess what we can do if we have... If we can do it... If we can do it... Okay. Basically, it turned it into a green field, and then... Okay. Oh, Poopy. Oh, Poopy. Why are you hitting us, Atropo? Um, if the field is all green, I might be able to do... You already did that. You already did that? Okay, cool. Um, if I have enough... Okay, if I have enough of poopy... Ow! Seriously, you're hitting us with clock hands. Uh, okay, can we do- Yes! We can totally do it! I wanna see- I wanna see how Genie works. Um, oh, there she is! Uh... Yes, the field has to be all green in order for it to work. I don't think it'll blow them away, but it will at least do some damage. Uh... Whoa. Okay. Okay. Respect, Karsh. Respect. Uh, okay. We're going to do a cure plus on Karsh because it came for him, which is bullshit. Uh, uh, okay. Elements. Oh, right. It has to be, yeah, it has to be eight and the field has to be entirely white, but... Since we don't have that, we can do maybe dash and slash. 
dash and slash. All right, there we go. Oh God, did we kill it? Is it broken? Uh oh. Oh boy. Uh, nice damage, right? Did we do we do a win? Draggy's like la 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 la. la. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, see, that's what it is. You get a new growth level, so it adds like another element slot. Uh, yes. Oh boy. Oh god, is that bad? Is time is time moving? Uh oh. Oh boy. What happened? Oh man. Something something happened. Wait, there's a thing in the middle. Future ruins. Oh. Wait, can we go out of the fate distortion for a minute to go to go to world map? Yeah, okay. So that's what happens. That's what happens. Okay, let's go here for a moment. Wait a moment. Uh, oof. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay. Oh no, wrong one. Oh wait, I think it did say teleporter. Oh yeah, it's all of all of his friends are back. I think. Yeah, see, there's Razzly! And there's this guy, but Kid's not here. Um, I do love Razzly. Uh, and she does have like really good spells. But I love Draggy too. Draggy's so cute. Uh, okay, elements allocate. Did we get more, more stuff? More growth level? No? We don't have any more slots, rude. Okay, what about you? Um, so I guess all of his friends remember him again. <laughs> uh, which is interesting. Oh, there we go. Um, magnify, purify. Oosh fucker. Info scope? Oh. Um. Thunderstorm. Oh, I guess I should have. Okay, turn blue, nimble, numble. Oh, nimble evades physical, physical things. Um, I guess we could do, we could do gravity blow. Okay, and then little draggy here, little draggy, uh, gets some more stuff. Uh, how about? The blue whale is for, um, okay, we might do, I'm going to give him another cure plus because I think Draggy can help out. Uh, and then he has Salamander, but the field has to be entirely red in order to do it. Yeah, so we have to go to the future ruins. We still haven't found Kid though, which is weird. Like, he's missing? Uh, so, hmm. Um, let's here. Got, got this. Got this. And then, and then we got all of these. All right. So, oh yeah, yeah, I wonder. Where is that shop? The girl with the elements. Um, so, not gonna find anything over here. I've been trying to, but okay. Hello? It. Welcome, we're low on stock right now, but please look around. Uh, yeah, so she, she's the one that has heal all. Uh, I'm gonna buy some more. Because, yeah. 
Uh, Magma Burst, Fire Pillar, Evil Arrow Blaster. Isn't the one with the heal spells? Ah. I also don't know where to get the rainbow shell. Like, I have the rainbow shell, but I don't know where we need to get, like, a better hammer. Um, it's a side quest in order to get, like, rainbow gear. Um. So, yeah. Alright, whoops. Let's see. Yes, forge your boat. Uh. I think Friday we said we were gonna do Rune Factory 5, right? You know, do some do some level grinding, do some um do some farming, <laughs> do some things. Uh okay, faith distortion. So we had to fight the giant face. Face. And it looks like this is isn't this where Yeah, so it dropped down and now in the middle is the future ruins. This is where his dad went right i think serge's dad is dead um pretty pretty sure he's dead because the way miguel was talking um i'm fortress chronopolis there's monsters here and chronopolis military research center May there be everlasting peace for the children of the world. 2400 AD. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. I heard Group 3B's experiment today is going to be a biggie. They're releasing the flame's lock level to D in order to trace the counter time effect. Yeah, but based on previous experiments, I'm sure it'll work out just fine. During the simulation, fate was certain the flame could be used as a relay to extract enough energy to counteract the anti-annihilation effect. Don't worry, it'll be a success. Oh, the fake computer! I hope so. Oh my gosh, yeah, fate was like a supercomputer. Um, once we're done with today's experiment, we have the long-awaited three-week vacation. I'm heading back to Zenon to spend time with my family. Zenon doesn't exist anymore. My daughter's birthday is coming up, you know. Oh my gosh, these are their ghosts? You're from Medina, right? I've been on this island for a year and a half now. Man, I've had enough. Aside from, that, from the man-made island with this research center, there isn't a single island in the Sea of El Nido. We managed to produce counter time at will, maybe a step away from asserting control over time itself. Uh, just hang in there a little longer. You said it. I can't believe we've come this far. Uh-oh. Well... Ah... Uh, I think we have to fight the robots. Pretty sure we have to fight the robots. Oh god, what is that? It's a giant robot! Ah! Oh, what the- What? Excuse me? Oh, okay then. What the shit? Police police? What, like, Robocop? Uh... Oh, oh no, not Megaton Fist. Oh no. Oh my. Holy, what the flipping F? Seriously? What the shit? It hit cars for like 400. What the hell, man? You did, giant robots! Yeah, but not when they're trying to freaking kill me! Oh my- What the fuck? <laughs> uh, wow? Okay, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, okay. I gotta help Karsh. Uh, Karsh needs our help. It, uh, yeah, it looks really cool, but it's trying to flip and kill us! Uh, oh my god. Okay, Axiomatic. 
Woo! Get him, Karth! Get him! There we go. Karth is like, I got you. Uh, alright. Okay, come on, Draggy! Like, why is there a Robocop here? Holy moly! Uh, it's... Okay, uh, imbecile? Okay, so we're gonna... I dig giant robots! We dig giant robots! Like, do you like robots? I like robots! <laughs> do you like giant robots? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, um... Draggy? This is this is your your time to shine. This is your time to shine, Draggy. He's like, okay, I got this. Okay, well, not as strong as I'd hoped, but close, close. Uh. <laughs> okay, so let's let's have Karsh have a turn with heals. Uh. Why? Why? Why are you using Megaton Fist? Why? Good God, man! This isn't cool. Oh crap! I don't know what that what that meant. What did what did that do? Okay, Ice Blast. Oh boy. Uh cover all. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't turn the field all white, but we need to like heal. Bazooka, come on! Mom can't have giant robots. Yeah, I'm not allowed Oh not to draggy! Oh my god, the humanity! Why would you do that to the sweet little draggy? Oh my god, the horror! <laughs> Our cute little dragon friend! Oh my... what? What? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um... Okay, okay. You know what? I'm gonna have Surge do it. And then... yeah, because he's... This thing's trying to turn the field all white. But we can't have that. So tornado it is. Freaking monster. Oh my goodness. Leave Surge alone! Seriously? Oi! Oh my god. This this freaking robot has to go. Um Right, no no no, no Luminaire. We need to get Draggy up. Uh I might I might switch Draggy out for Razzly, I'm not sure yet. As Lago, ah, that hurts! I know, Draggy's like, oh my gosh. Try to kill me. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, okay, let's do a heal all with, with green. Oh my goodness, this thing is nailing us. All right, come on, Karsh, you're up. Kick this thing's ass! No, not Bazooka, come on! Oh, damn it. Oh, it's setting for Karsh now. What the freaking shit, man? I'm so over this shit. Oh my goodness. 17? Really? That's it? I don't think I have any more revives. I'm not sure. Oh, this robot is pissing me off now. Um. Oh my goodness. Okay, revive. Yep, I'm all out of revives. Sorry, Karsh. Right, uh... 
Hey, okay, alright, 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 alright. Um, right, we can magma burst. Maybe. Like, are we even hurting the damn thing? Uh. Alright, um. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if. If Surge is. Like, at, uh, white attacks will actually work. Uh, I guess we'll see. I hope this is the only one we have to fight. 94. Okay. Um, okay, Magma Burst. What happened to his Inferno? Let me see if we can attack. Uh, oh, great. Draggy's probably dead. But we're probably dead. Serge is dead. Seriously? What is up with this? Why are we having boss fights th that are freaking nailing us? It, like, seriously? Come on! The, the unevenness of some of these fights. Uh, we're dead. We're super dead. Um, like, what is going on with this robot? Like, why isn't it working? Oh my god, Draggy killed it! Draggy killed it! <laughs> Everybody else is dead! And Draggy killed it! Awesome! Oh my god! Wow! I... okay! <laughs> oh, Draggy! So Draggy's the BB of Chrono Cross! <laughs> Just holy crap! Draggy for the win! Like, holy shit! What was up with that thing? Okay, spoils found the gate physical. Okay, that's actually useful. What the shit? Like, what the shit was up with this thing? Oh, uh, <laughs> like, oh my god. All right, so let's give Draggy what he needs. Um, th this is just so weird. Like, I had to revive him, but then he's just like, okay, two hits, dead, dead, you're welcome, dead. And I'm just like, seriously? Seriously? <laughs> of all the ways to win, oh my god. Uh, okay, Cure Plus, Magma Burst, like, I swear it feels like it does nothing. So, okay, so he has Inferno, he has a bunch of cures. Um, yeah, so, like, I really wish that we had a revive like natural magic spell but apparently it's an element slot and you only find like three to four of them in the entire game um and and basically <laughs> and basically uh okay all right there we go and basically that's it like that's all you get so if you die you die and honestly i just there, there's, like, I love Chrono Cross, and I have such good memories of playing it the first time it came out. But there's also, but I'm just like, now that I'm older, I'm noticing so many flaws with some of the game mechanics. Um, I, yeah, like, like I got nailed by a freaking giant robot, but the giant face we had to fight, that, that fight went a lot smoother. And I'm just like, what the shit? Uh, okay. So we are going to get 
You know what? We, yeah, we're just gonna fight some stuff, I guess. The really annoying mechanics. Are, yeah, my phone rebooted right before you beat the bot. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Draggy won. Draggy hit it twice and then it died. It blew up. Um. Oh my goodness. So maybe if we just like fight some giant robots, we'll get some. Yeah, it's just like the place is just abandoned except for the weird AIs. Uh. Draggy actually did the killing blow. Yeah, he did. The urgent cars died and Draggy just, just hopped over and hit the giant robot twice. <laughs> and then it blew up. It just went, okay, I, I died. The, yeah, the, the robot is like, oh my god, I died to cuteness. The cute, adorable Draggy. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, yeah, we're, I want to get that treasure chest that's there. Uh, okay. This is... I found a yellow brooch. What does a yellow brooch do? What does a yellow brooch do? Yellow brooch? Green brooch. Oh, okay. Resistance belt. Uh, dragoon gauntlet. Power glove. Yellow brooch. Okay. Uh, silver loop elbow pad. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna just go... Whoops. We're gonna go whoops! Um Alright, so now go so now Uh oh. Oh gosh. See these robots are mean. They're so mean. Why y'all so mean? Alright, come on. We're definitely gonna have to like upgrade some of their uh their weapons, I think. Aha! Ah uh, uh, no. Oh Oton Ray. That ain't that surge. Yeah, that doesn't work on him. Okay. Oh Dang! I think Draggy like hit that thing with his butt. Of course, nobody can meet me because I keep rising like a phoenix. He's just like, ta-da! Okay, so there we go. Yes. We got some Denodorite. Um, yeah, this is so weird. It's like empty except for the ghost. Um, so that's like really super odd. Uh, I'll look it. Okay, so do we get any more... Do we get any more things? Oh, we do get some more things. Fire pillar, 99 anti-red. Um possible ball reorder. Wait, Surge has another meteor shower? He has another wait 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 wait. He has another meteor shower? I want. Uh I want. Come on. A oh, bam! Okay, then we have Karsh. Uh, what it is? Okay, so it doesn't look like he has any other, other slots. Okay, so let's go out this way. So we have to go through. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight some robots. There seems to be some trick to opening it. Um, what is the trick? Oh. We go... No? I don't know. I don't know if that's right. Oh. Treasure chest. Nostrum. I guess we do have to go down. Honestly, I feel like we probably should fight all the robots and stuff. Um. You know, for, for reasons. Alright, let's just... Let's just do it. Aha! Uh -huh. And then we got... And then we got this. Oops. Uh... Alright. 
Okay, so there we go again. There we go again. Alright, and then... Oh boy. Whoa. Ouch. Seriously? Like, why are there killer robots in this place? Like, what on earth? <sighs> like, why are there killer robots? Seriously. Okay, Draggy's like, my turn! Just hops over and does his, his thing. Uh-oh. Botanre. Okay, so that's harsh. Didn't really do very much. Okay, so flying arrow. Okay, so we do that. Okay, so one's dead. And then... That one is next. Oh, I didn't realize he had like a laser axe. A laser axe? Yeah, see, we're getting some good... Wait, I found like several meteor showers that Surge can use. Um... Okay, it looks like we have to go down. I'm back, you said, what the shit? And I was laughing so hard because I dropped my cups off my desk and I had a similar thing at the same time. Oh, I'm getting it so gross. Uh, oh gosh. Oh wait, can we... Operates robot? Yes? Oh god, wait. I get to operate the robot? X. Where am I supposed to put the robot? Oh. Wait. I don't think it's supposed to... It can go in the water? Oh no, it cannot go in the water. Oh, that was very stupid. Oh. X. Wait, yes. Wait, so there's a robot? Hang on, hang on. How do we... How do we... Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're supposed to operate the robot. Operate the robot, and then where do we put it? Robo sewer wash. Robo sewer wash? But my desk needed a good clean. Ah, <laughs> operate the robot. Yes. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to. Okay. Okay, robot go here. Robot go here. Na -na 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 -na. Robot push button. I think. Robot push button. Robot go here. Then what? Robot push more button. I don't... Okay. Now what? Um, okay, do we go... Do we go this way? Well, how the heck am I supposed to... Okay, so we use the robot to move up and then we go like okay so then what do we do yes okay we go up here there's the how do we get across uh this is so weird. Wait, let me go up. Maybe there's something up after that. Okay, we did that. Can we open the door now? Seems to be some trick to opening it. Uh, okay. We go back down, I guess. How the heck... And it reset. Damn. Alright, so... Robo sewer wash. Operate the robot. Yes. 
great robot. Is there a button the robot can push here? No? Okay, so he goes through the little gate. He goes up this little ramp. Pushes the button. Okay, and then it extends. But then... But then what? There's no other switches for him to push. So... And I don't think he can go in the water, right? Oh. Um... What are we supposed to do with him? Goes in the water for a little and then... Then he breaks. Uh, okay, there's something I'm missing. Can he hit? Okay, can he hit the switch again? Does that to retract? Do this. It extends. What am I supposed to do with this war robot? Coral, does it say what to do with this robot? Um... Okay, do we just... This is really weird. This is really weird. Uh, can it go up? Can it go up? Wait! Okay, so B extends... Okay, B extends the... Wait, what does A do? A? Okay. Maybe... Can he hover? Okay, so B extends the leg. Can't hover. I wonder, uh, okay, so if he goes like this, can he maybe swim? Nope, he can't swim. Uh, well, I extended the walkway, so then, okay, oh, this speeds him along. Uh... Yes. Oh, and then he disappears. That doesn't make sense. Oh, wait, maybe I have to... Yes. Maybe I have to get him to open the gate for us. No, that's not right, because then it closes behind him. Um... Okay, so if we go... Oh my gosh. I remember what to do here. Uh, okay. There's like another switch on the other side. But the thing is, it's like, I don't know how to get over there. Okay. So I try... Oh, he got farther that time. Okay. Right, uh... Right, 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 right. There has to be a way across! Right, so... Okay, this is not right, I don't think. Uh... That's really weird. What are you supposed to do with this robot? Like, I figured out this part of it, but I don't... I don't remember the rest. Uh... Okay, this is weird. How the heck do I get the little robot across? Um... 
Well, that is gonna bug me now. Up. That is gonna bug me now. Up. Okay, so. Robot. Uh. Okay. I need to figure out how to control the robot. Um. Okay, uh. Okay, so. Yeah, this is the Chronopolis, right? Um. So there's supposed to be a way to get across. Um, but I need to like control him. So uh boy, um so. I'm not sure how to do this. Because uh, it says that I can... Okay. I think there is a button I missed. Uh, I need to like go up. Yeah, I think there's a button I missed somewhere and I'm not sure where. Um, so that's weird. Okay. Let me go up the hatch again for a minute. Because I think there was like a button I was supposed to push. But. Okay, hang on. Seems to be some trick to open. Okay. I got this. And then... That's really weird. Why can't I find this? Um... I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh... Uh, okay. Right. It says there's a button, but I don't. Okay, go down. We press the red button. We press the red button first. Okay. So I did that. There's no other doorway. That's kind of annoying. Um, that's just really weird. I don't know. Like, that's just weird. Can see me time. I think I've gone as long as I can. Hey, Norl, did it before you go? Did it say what to do with this robot? Uh, um, I think I've gone as late as I can. Yeah, we only have like an hour left in stream. Uh, but does it say what to do with this robot? Because, like, I thought, right? So I put him up here, I pushed the button. And then I have no idea. Um, it's really weird. Uh, so, right, um,
I think the robot is supposed to float, but I think that I kind of messed up and and said it the wrong way. Uh, okay. So as long as I... Oh. Oh, wait. Ah. I think if I hit anything, it's bad. Um. Alright. So, I'm trying to, like... Oh, I got up. Oh, I did it. Okay. So, I had to basically just let it float? Uh, hey bears, hi! <laughs> Thank you for the raid! How are you? Welcome on in, everyone! Uh, oh my goodness! Hello! Uh, <laughs> well, hello! Oh, uh, welcome on in! How are you doing? I think I figured it out, Norrell. Thank you so- oh. <laughs> it was hovering, it's just like, I need instructions! Um, I guess we just go back the way we came. Uh, hi, Three Bears, how are you? Uh, how's Return of Samus? Thank you so much for the read. I hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome on in, everyone. Yeah, I'm kind of derping my way through Chrono Cross. Um, kind of just, you know, doing, doing the games the way I do. <laughs> just very badly in trial and error um but hey you know uh some games i'm good at some games eh, not so much uh but welcome on in everyone i hope you're doing well uh hi hello i'm mother gamer and i am a no cam variety streamer and i like to play story games uh, lots of rpgs jrpgs indie games animal crossing you know lots of animal crossing too uh, this game's definitely a throwback. It's definitely Thursday. Yes. Uh, so we do talk about mental health in here as well as social issues. Uh, I live with depression and anxiety. I'm Filipino and I'm queer, uh, pansexual. Uh, and I talk about all of those things openly and honestly to show others it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to talk about it. It's okay to need help. And we do our best to be kind, welcoming, and supportive of everyone. So welcome on in. We're glad you're here. Uh, yeah, um, it, it's been nice hanging out with everyone today after yeah, people were like, oh, well, this is why I turn off my DMs. And it's like, I don't turn off my DMs, honestly. Um, I screen. Uh, I screen and I filter. Dang, phone was not connecting. Oh, hey, Golden. Well, welcome back. Yeah, Twitch has been having some issues with chat lately. Um, yeah, because I, I tweeted about it this morning because I was, I was a little annoyed. Um, oh, your phone data. Um, I was a little annoyed because, you know, it's been kind of a long week and I am frustrated <laughs> is the word. Uh, and June is coming up and of course June is pride and, um, I, yeah, cause I announced it the other night and we, we reminded everybody at the start of the stream. My mom's net is slow. Oh, I'm sorry, Golden. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people were like, well, this is why I turn off my DMs. And I was like, I filter my DMs. Um, and if I don't know the person, I just don't answer. And if it's like trolling and harassment, I don't respond to it. Um, yeah, because we're going to be raising money for Trans Lifeline uh, all, for all of June. Uh, I did it last year and uh, and it was a really good experience and I, you know, wanted to do that for our community and we're going to do it again this year. Yeah. And sometimes I get, I get messages as you do, uh, <laughs> yay, uh, as you do and basically lecturing me and scolding me about supporting trans people. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't have time for that. Like I'm, I'm not the person uh, you know, to, to come sideways at about that and, and don't test me. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, and it's like, uh, I have a mother that is a tiny, angry Filipino lady, and she stands up for everybody. And I learned from her, you know, to, to, yeah, because I, I told her about what happened, and she goes, that bullshit. <laughs> right? Like, she didn't even, she didn't even hesitate. I just like, that bullshit. She's like, what are they doing to help anybody? She's like, oh, they're just sitting there. She's like, just, just being bad to everybody. She's like, you know, I feel sorry for them because they got nothing better to do. And I was just like, well, yeah, Ma. I was like, I handled it. It's fine. And yeah, and she just told me, she's like, you know, you, she's like, you keep doing what, what you want. You know, she's like, to, to help everybody. She's like, don't worry about that. I was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I I don't even know what to say anymore when I, I get those messages, so I just don't answer them. You know, I, I screenshot them and I report them and then I just block the person. But uh, I'm just like, look, it's not going to work on me. You're not going to change my mind. And I was like, trans rights are human rights, period. And I was like, and you don't get to treat people like they're less. Um, <laughs> to be upset about supporting no, no, and considering, you know, and considering that uh, after those years, your support is awesome, yeah. And the thing is, is like, and I, I explained this to Ron. I said the thing is, is like, it was trans people and the kink community that supported me when I first came out. Okay, I'm going to bed. Night, all night, Norrell. And, you know, when I was trying to figure out my stuff, they they were there for me and supported me. And I was just like, I absolutely 100% can support them. Um, you know, because it's our community. They're part of our community. And it's just like, that is really weird to me that there are people who are just like, well, you shouldn't support them. It's just like, why? You know? But yeah, and there was, you know, and I'm just like, why? I will not tolerate, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, one of my cousins is kind of like that, and and he said, well, you shouldn't, and I said, why? And he said, well, because, and I said, why? I was like, give me, right? And my mom started laughing. I said, give me, in 100 words or less, why you think I shouldn't support trans people in our community. And I was just like, I'll even take, I'll even take a written essay. <laughs> you know, if you can explain to me consistently and coherently with you know with examples of why you think it's not okay you know as it's like as well as why you think it's okay to hate another human being for just living their life right and my mom burst out laughing and she said she got you there she's like well you heard there she's like go go ahead explain yourself <laughs> and my cousin stood there and he goes well i uh and i was just like well, I was just like, I, I got time. Explain to me. <laughs> and my cousin went, you know what? I, I, I don't know. And I was like, ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, does it affect you personally? And he said, well, no. And I was like, then why do you care? <laughs> oh, and he had nothing to say. And my mom was like, see, right? And my cousin looks at my mom and he goes, your daughter is is messing with me. And my mom goes, no, what she doing is teaching you a life lesson about how not to be a bad person. I did like, you need to, she's like, you need to learn that lesson faster. And my mom starts staring at him and he goes, oh, oh, okay. And my mom's like, I'm gonna talk to, and my mom tells my cousin, she's like, I'm gonna talk to your mom about your bad attitude. And I was just like, yeah, and I asked my mom later, I was like, did you really tell on him? And my mom goes, of course I did. She's like, you think I could have let him get away with that? She's like, his mom needs to know. No, he, he not behaving himself. I was like, yeah, and Ron was just like, I cannot believe your mom told on somebody. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, my mom told on him. Uh, I just thought of something. My mom is pan, my sister is pan and trans. I'm bi. Only straight person in our family is my little bro, and even he likes to flirt with his homies. Your mom seems great. My mom is a no nonsense kind of person. Uh, and 
Can queerness be genetic? I don't know, honestly. Um, <laughs> I honestly don't know. Um, was your mom's grandmother a gamer? She's Lola. <laughs> she's Lola. Um, and with our, with my granddaughter, she's very proud of the fact that she's a great grandma now. Um, <laughs> she is Lola. Uh, yeah, and it, she's so funny because, like, she has a really good heart. But at the same time, she's kind of competitive with my titas about, like, being a grandma and, and being a great grandma. Like, she, apparently she went to, like, Mahjong last weekend and she was showing off pictures of of her great-granddaughter, uh, you know, of our granddaughter. And I could hear her and my sister called just to, like, say hello. And, and I was like, is that mom in the background? And she goes, yeah, they're they're playing Mahjong. And I hear my mom and my sister is laughing going, she is as extra as she wants to be. Because I hear my mom in the background going, how, how many great grandkids you have? <laughs> you know, to one of our titas. And I was like, is that mom? And she goes, yeah. She's like, she's as extra as she wants to be. And she's like, you know, she's like, you know how many grandkids I have? <laughs> you know? She's like, and I have great granddaughter. She's like, how many, how many you got? And I hear like one of my titas like answering. And she's like, my mom goes, oh, I'm sorry, what? None? Oh my goodness, you you need to get on that. <laughs> I was like, is she really telling one of our titas you need to get grandkids? <laughs> and my sister is laughing, going, yeah, she's she's doing that. <laughs> and I was just like, but that's that's just who she is. Uh yeah, I told her that everybody calls her Lola Gamer and she thinks it's funny. And she's like, Well, I am Lola. You know, and she's like, uh, and she's like, but I don't know if I game. I was like, Mom, you play mahjong. I just like, yeah, but that's just for fun. I was like, and money. I was like, y'all are hustlers. <laughs> and she's like, okay. She's like, D does that count? And I was like, it totally counts. And she's like, oh, she's like, so I know the gamer. And she's like, oh, okay. She's like, I kind of like it. Right? And my sister, you know, we could hear her. And my sister was like, she's been bragging to everybody that that your chat, like, gave her a nickname. <laughs> And I was like, she is not. And she's like, yeah, she did. She was like, apparently my mom was like, oh, you know, they give me, they give me nickname. <laughs> oh, she's like, you have nickname? I was just like, why is she like that? <laughs> it's just everything's a competition. Also, that is adorable. Yeah, you know, this is, this is the same lady that, that stood up for my friend when, like, one of my... Um, one of my brothers said something. My brother learned his lesson, and he doesn't do that anymore. He was he was a kid. You know, it doesn't excuse his behavior, but he said something derogatory to my friend because he's gay. And my mom came up behind him and smacked him on the back of the head. And she's like, you know what? She's like, nobody sit there and tell you, oh, you stupid for being straight. She's like, so you need to watch your mouth. <laughs> oh. And my brother was like, ow, ma. And she's like, you apologize right now. She's like, because he a person? She's like, and he don't need to hear that shit from you. He probably hear that shit all the time. And she's like, you know what? <laughs> my brother was just like, I can't believe you hit me. And my mom just stared at him. And she's like, you know what I tell you all the time? If you're going to talk shit, she's like, I'm going to hit you. She's like, you're lucky I don't have chancla. <laughs> I was just like, thanks, ma. Yeah, and my friend was like, oh my god, I love your mom. <laughs> He's like, I love her so much. I was like, yeah. Yeah, and he and I have been friends since we were kids. And my mom always asks how he is. And apparently they message each other. Like, he texts my mom. I was like, you text my mom? He's like, she texts me first. I was like, seriously? I was like, what does she, like, talk to you about? I was just like, if you don't want to tell me, it's cool. And he's like, oh, sometimes she shows me purses that she's buying. And he's like, or, you know, and he showed me, like, a picture she sent him of, of like, this rainbow scarf that she bought. <laughs> and he, yeah, and I was just like, that is so wild to me that you just, like, you call my mom and, and text her and talk to her. And he's just like, of course I do. He's like, I love her. <laughs> I was just like, aww. 
I've been smacked up inside my head because I made a self-deprecating joke. Oh, see, your your mom was like, hey, don't do that. Don't say that about yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just like the, the one thing I can always say is even when my mom is as like competitive as she is, I know she has my back. If somebody says something to me or somebody says something to one of my friends, you know, to one of my cousins, because one of my cousins is trans and and she's had stuff said to her my my mom is right there like she and she'll like flat out say you know I'll, I'll fight you you know to the person that said it like she's and I'm just like yeah and my brother's like it is so wild that mom you know is willing to like go toe to toe with someone she's five foot one she's tiny right but they're like it's so wild that she's willing to go toe to toe with someone because they said something hurtful or they said something mean yeah, like she legit told one of my titas, she's like, I'll fight you. <laughs> because my tita said something rude to me, right? And, and, she, and my tita was just like, well, she's like, you know you can be normal. I was like, I, I am normal, thanks, right? And, and my tita was just like, well, you know, wh why are you queer? And I was like, why are you straight? <laughs> you know, because I stood up for myself, right? But then my mom like got in front of me and I was like, Ma, Ma, I'm fine. And my mom's and my mom just like starts rolling up her sleeves, right? It was like last autumn a couple years ago. My mom starts rolling up her sleeves and she's like, I'll fight you. Right? <laughs> she rolls up her sleeves and tells my tita, I'll fight you. Talaga, she's like, I will fight you. If you say one more mean thing to my daughter, <laughs> she's like, I will fight you. And I was just like, Ma, Ma, don't fight, don't fight. I was like, I'm fine. And my tita's like, you're not gonna fight me? And my mom's like, go ahead. She's like, go ahead, say one more thing, Gago. She's like, say one more thing. Again to her. <laughs> she's like, I will fight you. And my mom's just like staring. I was just like, oh my god, she's really doing this. And <laughs> I'm just like, Ma, you don't have to fight everyone for me. I'm I'm good. I'm good. I got this. I, I, I love you. <laughs> but I can stand, I can take care of myself. I mean, my mom's like, no, no, no. She, she, she keep talking a bunch of stuff all the time. And she's like, and you know what? She's like, we, we are done here. <laughs> she's like, go ahead. Say, say one more thing to her. Right? And she's like, go ahead. <laughs> my tita's is like, what, looks, looks around her at me goes, what do I do? I was like, I don't know. What do you think you should do in this moment? <laughs> I was like, maybe apologize. <laughs> I was like, maybe apologize, maybe talk to her about it. <laughs> I was like, hold me back, hold me back. I, I, yeah, I've watched this lady take off her earrings before. Like seriously, out we outside of church, like <laughs> outside of church. Like she insisted that we go to church with her, so I said, okay, I will do it for you, right? And then one of my titas made a comment. Yeah, these are my older titas. My, my younger titas are, are a lot nicer. But my older titas, they are definitely not willing to change. And I know they're not going to change, you know. So I just, you know, I just stand up to them. And then, I let, and then I'm just like, you know what? We're good. <laughs> oh, one of my titas was, was like, really, we're good? I was like, no, we're not good. I was like, I think you're a bigot. And I, I feel sorry for you. Um, <laughs> oh, but... But one of my titas made a comment about she was surprised I didn't I didn't burst into flames stepping into church. And my mom starts taking off her earrings, hands just like shoved her purse in my hands, like hold my purse. And she starts taking off her ears. I was like, Ma, we're outside of church, your church. Like, what are you doing? And my sister comes out and you know, was talking to one of our, our family members and she comes over, she's like, What's going on? She's like, Oh no. <laughs> She says, oh no. And it's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, my mom started taking off her ear. She's like, oh, really? She's like, you, you, you want to repeat that? You want to repeat what you said? And my friends are like, oh my God, is your mom like this all the time? It's like, she has been like this my entire life. Like, she has been this way for as long as I've known. Uh, why do you have to announce that you're gay? Right? Like, it's just like, excuse you. Uh, I mean, why do teen girls get to make social media posts about their boyfriend? People announce their straight all the time. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's just like people are just living their lives. And the thing is, is for 
for a lot of us because growing up Filipino, there's a lot of my family, like older, older generation, who are not open, who are not open about things, who think that the world is supposed to be a certain way, and if anything deviates from that, it's bad. Um, so, and for a long time, I struggled with being open about things and being being myself, like my true self. Um, and frankly, my mom was the one that encouraged me. Like, you know, and she didn't know what was going on at first. And she even said, she's like, I don't know what's going on with you. And, you know, she was like, but she's like, just, you know, when you're ready to talk to me, she's like, just know, she's like, I love you. She was like, I, you know, she told me, I love you no matter what. And it helped a lot. Um, <laughs> so, and now, <laughs> now she's she's there in my corner, ready ready to fight, ready to take her earrings off and and fight somebody just just because you know they they say something rude and I'm just like mom it's okay, you know <laughs> it's just like I, I appreciate that you have my back and I was like but I'm really okay, <laughs> you know? and I was just like oh my goodness right and I've I've said I've like stood up for her too when somebody said something about her her english right like she and i were having a conversation in tagalog and the guy behind us is like oh my god speak english and my mom goes i do speak english and he's like oh he's like nice accent you got there and i turned around and i was just like oh so so you have a comment about my mother's english it's like you know considering it's not her first language and yet she learns i was like and she speaks tagalog and kampanga and spanish and I was just like, how many do you know? <laughs> I was like, how many languages do you know that you can speak fluently in? Yeah, and the guy went, um, uh, and my mom's staring at him and she's like, well, you heard my daughter, you, you got an answer for her? Right? And then the guy apologized. <laughs> he was like, um, and I goes, you know what? He's like, I'm, I'm sorry. He's like, I, I realized that was, he's, now that that was rude. He's like, yeah, just a bit. Um, you know, and my mom reached over and patted his shoulder. She's like, oh, that, that's okay. I forgive you. Right? <laughs> and it was like, he didn't know what to do with that because he goes, oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> like he was so confused. Right? Because my mom didn't yell and she's like, oh, okay. And she's like, that's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> and, and we left the store. And I was just like, and the guy standing there going like, did I, I just looking so confused. Like, wait, wait, was it mad? Also slew a vampire. You slew a vampire. Okay, so we made it to the thing. Oh, was I? Oh, that's how we opened the door. Okay. Wait, so we, this was also we could open a door from the other side. I feel like this, this could have been handled differently. <laughs> it's like, here you go. There's, there's, you go around the mulberry bush and through the garden path, and then you open the door. I was just like, okay. Oh, wait. I think we're going to have to fight more robots. Um, probably. Well, I guess we might as well, right? Get get some get some element slots under our belt. Did I just run past it, I, or I ran through it? Okay, there's a door here. Uh oh. Um. Did I run through the robot? That's weird. Uh, wait. Can we get? Oh, there is a treasure chest. Um. What on earth is a forget-me-not pot? I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. So there's these robots like floating around. It's no, so we're at the fate, uh, the fate island. So we already fought, um, the three, the, the fate mask. Wait, can I not get in this door? I cannot get in this door. Well, that's concerning. Uh, <laughs> That's concerning. Um, hmm. Okay. 
So if we go up through, there's an elevator, but I don't know if that actually does anything. Uh, oops, crap. Well, I did say we were going to fight some of the robots. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, yeah, Friday night, I think we're going to just play some Moon Factory 5, just like chill out and, you know, have a, have cute little dates with Murakumo. Um, and do all the, do all the things. Um, oops. Okay, it's kind of weird. It's just like, there's ghost people and then, then giant robots. Um, and nothing else. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, so. Okay, so Draggy can do his thing. Oh, we just realized the robots kind of look like they have little faces? Oh, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> so that's weird. Hmm. Okay, wait. Oh no, not Photon Beam. Oh, it's aimed at Karsh. He'll be mostly fine? Yeah, mostly fine. Um, I think all we have to do is just do physical attacks. It should be okay. Uh, alright. So we have Draggy. I think Draggy evolves later on. I can't remember. It's been a while since I first played this. Um, I keep finding lots of meteor showers though. Uh, okay. There's the boat? Okay, I guess we can save here. So there's a save point here. Um, you know, I might... I might give a couple of those meteor showers to Karsh and Draggy. Um, you know, I want him to have Tornado because Tornado is actually a really good spell. Uh, so if we can do... Um, maybe here? And then we can give Draggy a meteor shower, and then we can give Surge like the extra one. Um, hmm. Cure plus four. He has Salamander. Uh, maybe this one? Yeah. Okay, and then we'll give the last meteor shower to Surge. Um, okay, Ice Blast. Ice Blast is actually really good though. Um, fire pillar plus two inferno. Uh, yeah, imbecile is good for basically weakening enemies. Uh, you know what? Let's do let's do that. Uh, okay. I'm good. I'm gonna save again because I know I'm not gonna remember. Uh, remember, remember that. Um, hi, Noct! Uh, how are you? Thank you for the raid! Welcome on in! Uh, how's it going? Uh, hi, Shitsu! How are you? Okay, so, can we... Uh, Golden, can you do a shout-out for Noct, please? Uh... I'm good! Uh, Chrono Cross is awesome. Yeah, Chrono Cross is good. <laughs> It's, I, I'm a little rusty, um, you know, but eh, <laughs> I'm a little rusty, so I've died a couple times. Uh, but yes, I actually really, really like Chrono Cross. Oh, there's a little ghosty here. Um, uh, I'm good. How are you? How is your stream? Uh, <clears throat> welcome on in, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Uh, 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 okay. Um, there we go. Uh, so go follow Noct, everyone. Uh, go say hello, awesome person and streamer. Lovely welcoming community. Go, go say hi. Uh, thank you, Golden. Oh, there you are. I thought you were away, so I just did it. Um, yeah, we are, we're playing some Chrono Cross. Uh, what was what we played before Chrono Cross? Oh, Grandia. We played... Oh, you played Super Metroid? Nice! Super Metroid's so good! Uh, yeah, we played Grandio 1 and 2, uh, last time, and then... 
I suck at that game, but God says I need to get better. I mean, yeah, the retro games, like, uh, a lot of older games are definitely challenging. I know Chrono Cross has been, like, really challenging. <laughs> Uh, be just because I forgot like some of the game mechanics, but once I got the remembered, once I refreshed my memory, it's like, oh, okay. Um, perhaps what we are doing is wrong. If this experiment succeeds, we will be able to control time. Ooh, just because you can do a thing doesn't mean you should. We will have complete control over history and in a sense become like gods. So what meaning is there to the history of mankind? But it's too late now. We can't afford to fail in this experiment. If for some reason anything goes wrong, the anti-annihilation energy will probably overwhelm us. Who knows what the consequences may be? Oh, well... Yeah, again, brings to light the... Just because you can do a thing doesn't mean you should. Uh... Okay, yeah, and then I... <laughs> And then I get stuck on things. Okay, so there is a save point here, but then I wonder if we're supposed to- oh, I wonder if we're supposed to run forward on the pier? I don't think so though. Um, yep, it's just kind of an odd spot to put the save point, but here we are. Uh, but here we are. All right, so if we go... Okay, I'm trying to remember. I think we're supposed to take the elevator. Pretty, pretty sure we're supposed to take the elevator? Uh, so let's see, can we... Please release... Wait, wait, wait. Security level to lock. Please release the lock. Oh! Okay. Well, so I guess we got to figure out where the security lock is. Um, okay, well, if we go up, well, see, I tried, I tried going up here and then that's locked too. Hmm. Okay, that's really weird. Um... Well, can we go... Okay, I got the treasure chest from here. I'm trying to remember where the security lock was. Because we went and we used the robot for... Oops! Well, we need to fight the, the monsters anyway. Um, because we used the robot to get through to make the little bridge. And then... And I don't know. Hmm. Oops. Alright, well. There we go. Oh, oh dear. Um. Okay, so we got... Oh! <laughs> I forgot I, I kind of... I kind of, uh, I upgraded Karsh's axe a little bit. And now he's gotten, like, ridiculously strong. Uh, and Draggy's just a little dragon. But, uh, yeah, the one boss fight, like, everybody died but Draggy. Um, and then he he won the boss fight. It was kind of like the, the fight I had in Final Fantasy IX with Vivi. Uh, and everyone else died but not Vivi. And Vivi defeat basically defeated a giant dragon all by himself. Um, and it was just hysterical to me. Because <laughs> I love Vivi, he's my favorite, but it was just so wild that, like, that's what did it. Uh, okay, so this... Okay, so this closes this door, and this opens the door. Alright. So I'm wondering if I miss something. No. Um... Hmm, I'm wondering if I missed something when I was down here. I don't think I did. Uh, okay, so that goes there. Uh, I'm gonna have to do that again. Um, hmm. 
Okay, well, there's no way for me to... Is there any switch for... There is not. Okay. All by himself? How? Uh... Yeah, so... Uh, so I had BB in my party all the time because BB's my favorite. And yeah, I basically had BB cast things like... Uh, it was Garnet, right? I had her cast like float and Vivi was floating. So when Garnet and Zidane's uh, float wore off, they got nailed by the dragon attack, but Vivi's hadn't worn off. So, so he was still floating and he was still alive, uh, right? So he was able to cast like his like highest black magic spell um because we have we're whittling the dragon down a little at a time but then it did this attack that killed them wiped <laughs> yeah wiped them out so vivi's still like floating right because his float spell hadn't worn off yet and yeah he, i was able to use like his highest tier black <laughs> black mage spell and i was just like oh man i think i'm i'm gonna wipe on this fight i don't know what's gonna happen right i was just like but i'm just i'm just gonna do it and then the dragon <laughs> died, and we won. And we won. And yeah, there, there was a clip of it. Like my chat, like clipped it <laughs> because I was shocked that we won. And I was just like, wait, wait. I was like, did Vivi kill the dragon? <laughs> yeah. So so Vivi did it all by himself. He he got the killing blow and and got all the <laughs> XP and everything. And I was just like, well, cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was just like, yeah, BB won. He won the fight for us. And I was just like, well, I was like, there's a reason he's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, like, he's my favorite in the entire, my favorite character in the entire game. And because I love, I love BB's story about, you know, like what it means to be a person, what it means to be, you know, to think for yourself, to, you know, to speak up for yourself. And, I, I like his friendship with Zidane because like Zidane basically helped Vivi to, to explore that, you know, and, and you know, told him like, hey, you gotta speak up sometimes and um yeah, so it was just really funny that, that that fight I was thought I was gonna gonna fail it and Vivi won. Uh that has Kane, uh and was hit with an attack, Kane lived and won the last boss fight. With just one HP. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. Sometimes you, you just you just barely win. Uh <laughs> so you're and you're just like, well, you know, here we are. You know, I've I've definitely um I've definitely had that. I think we did that with Trials of Mana too. I think I had like 20 HP and then we killed we killed the boss and I was just like, oh it was it was a rough fight. <laughs> <laughs> but, but hey, you know, a win is a win, you know? Um, okay, there we go. Karsh. Oh, Karsh, why did you miss? Don't miss. There you go. There you go. Um, uh, yeah, honestly, I'm really hoping with the Chrono Cross remaster for Switch. Um, I'm hoping that they'll do Chrono, they'll do a remaster of Chrono Trigger for the Switch too, because I think Chrono Trigger would be great. Uh, on the Switch console, um, you know, and Chrono Trigger is also such a great game. Uh, I really have no idea where we're supposed to go. I can't get through security, so it's really weird. Maybe I have to get rid of all the robots? I wonder if that's what it is, that I have to get rid of all of the robots, but... Hmm... Okay, well, well, let's see, let's see if that's what it is, because I'm trying to remember how we get in the elevators. Maybe I have to talk to that ghost again. Um, uh, oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Oops. Dang it, I hate when I miss. It was like, ah. Uh, at least it lets you try again. Oh. Okay, little draggy. Um, 
Okay, well, no. Oh, well, that works too. Uh, so we could do... Yeah, let's do his Dragon Rider ability. I actually like that one. Uh... Oh my goodness. Okay, so we'll go like this. Oops. <laughs> Draggy's like, I won! Uh, okay, so let's see. We'll use this. Yeah, I might have to go visit Karsha's parents and, um, like, get some more upgrades for things. Okay, so we're gonna deliberately run into the robots. I want to see if maybe clearing all the robots on the floor is, is what needs to be done. I'm honestly not sure if that's right because I don't remember how to get into that elevator. Uh, but there is a trick to it. Oh, well, okay, so we'll get, whoa, jeez. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> that robot is dead. Um, so, oops. Oh, no, not the little dragon. <laughs> not the little dragon. Um, yeah, you know, the other the other day like before stream like i had some time so i was playing legacy of kane um uh, and uh i i forgot how good simon templeman is like voice acting kane um and yeah that the game is fun like the story for legacy of kane is really good uh but I just like I never get tired of hearing his like hearing him do the voice acting for Kane because he's so good. Like, and then of course he's Terran Logan um, in Dragon Age Origins. Uh, but I always recognize his voice; it's very distinct. Uh, yeah, and Ron recognized his voice too. He's like, "What are you playing?" I was like, "I'm, I'm playing Legacy of Kane." And he's like, "Is that Simon Templeman?" I was like, yeah, he was, he was Kane. <laughs> so, um, but I remember, like, but it's fun, like, playing those, those older games. Um, yeah, and I, I have my Legacy of Kane, like, Soul Reaver games, too. Um, and those are fun, too, but sometimes, like, the camera, ang I forgot that sometimes the camera angles in the Soul Reaver games are, are a little bit tricky, so... <laughs> Sometimes I would have to like readjust or like move uh or move out of the way just so I could see um you know what I was missing because sometimes the angles would turn weird. Uh okay, so we fought all of the robots. How about how about now? Please release the lock. Well, I'm trying to find Lock. Okay, hang on. Okay, if we go here, maybe we can talk to that ghosty again. Um. Okay, so he says what they're doing is wrong. Okay. Yeah, it's basically controlling time. Oh. I wonder if I have to close the door that I opened. That couldn't be it, could it? It might be. Hang on. Okay, so if we go back here, la 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 la. All right, so it's okay. Fight, fight this robot, I guess, because I opened the other door, and the thing is, is like I think maybe I wasn't supposed to. Um, maybe I wasn't supposed to open that door. I don't know. Hmm. Well, that's really weird. Okay, whoops. Okay, so we got this. Okay, so, whoops, uh-oh. Ah, uh, 
why do I always miss? Ay ay ay. Why do I always miss? All right. Okay, so Draggy will go over there. Robots are tricky. Uh. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? Uh, let's use one of Surge's uh attacks. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Okay, and then we can have Harsh use Tornado, um, which will work nicely. Out, tornado. Okay, they're they're still alive, so it's not perfect. But oh, we can try uh, Draggy's uh, cough drop. No, wait, not cough drop. I think it's cough mix. Cough mix. Yes. Okay, so we'll do cough mix. Which I think is very cute. Yeah, and then he can just that. Yeah, buddy. That's actually a pretty cool attack that he has. Uh, oh, not the photon beam. Uh, oops. Not the photon beams. Okay, so we got yes, it's me mostly. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's almost dead, I think. Maybe. Right, so let's see if I'm right. So I'm trying to test the theory to see if I'm right, but... Uh, okay, there we go. Keep getting meteor showers off them. Um, okay, so if we close this door, what happens? Uh, okay, so if we close this door, does that, does that count? Okay, so nope, it's not that. How do I release the log? Oh, this is weird. Um, okay, so release the, I, In everywhere, I can't think of where else to go. I'm obviously missing something. I'm not sure what. Um, okay, there's like little star maps. There's. I have no idea. We ran into that guy. Okay, so if we run back out. Maybe there's a button to push um, in the other other room. If we go out here, right, so we went out there, already got the treasure chest that was there. There's this thing, and then there's this thing. Um, three week vacation. Um, it's so weird. Do they not know that they're dead? Um, where the heck do we release the lock? We're supposed to release the elevator lock. I wonder if I have to go down that shaft again. Um, okay. Um, yeah. Went through being lost as hell in AM2R. Yeah, it's just like sometimes it doesn't like necessarily tell you what to do. So I'm just like, uh, so sometimes I, I do a lot of wandering around and I'm just like, I think I'm lost, you know, like, or I missed something somewhere. Um, so it's really, really weird. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Yeah, I kind of melted the bot a couple times here and I, I felt kind of bad. Ah, just like I did right there. Oof. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> the bot's like, you're lucky there's lots of me. 
Uh, okay. So, I think I had to, like, kind of avoid bumping into stuff. Was what it was. Okay, and then we do, like, that. Right? And there's the little, there's the little bridge. But there's supposed to be... I think there's, like, a way to get treasure chest or oops oopsie sorry <laughs> I was like well I cannot for the life of me remember where the elevator security button is oh that's right I forgot don't don't fall into the crevice because falling into the crevice is bad um oh my goodness I'm so much better at games like Dragon Age Oh wait, I was on a little platform? Ugh. Because I know all the things about Dragon Age and I, you know, I know all the lore and I know how to do the stuff and... Okay, so then what do we... Okay, so you're on the platform, now what do I do with you? Um... Guess I just... Oh! Jeez! Well, oh, I think this is just to get the treasure, uh, the treasure chest. Except I'm doing really, really silly stuff. Okay. Okay. Just, just kind of go, hey, I made it that time. Oh, a white brooch? Oh, I think that's for Surge. Um, alright, if we, oh, jeez, sorry little bot. Ah, <sighs> like I'm trying to think of like what I could have missed, but I don't think I really missed anything. At least I don't think so. Okay, whoops. Oh, I dropped it. Um, he's just like it's cool, it's cool. Uh, okay. Just do this. So I have to like very slowly keep him on the platform and I keep I keep accidentally sliding him into the ledge. Uh whoops. Okay, um maybe if I just okay. Slowly, come on, just just follow the path. It's like a little little maze. Okay. Uh, oh, cure all. That's a good one. Um, that's actually really super useful. Okay, oops. Well, I guess it doesn't matter after this because we did get the bridge across. So, we'll just. Oops. Um. Yeah, oh, okay. Sorry, little bot. Uh, okay, so we hit. Hit X to quit. Um, I don't know. Okay, so we hit this, we hit this. There's no other, there's no other switches. So, how the heck do I get the elevator open? Um, okay, this, yeah, this leads to here. I don't think there's any other other switch or any other little button. I mean there's some buttons here, but one's green. And then Okay, so that button closes the door. And opens the door. And Okay, so and it's glowing red. The door is open. Okay? But that should be bright. I think. Oh, they reset. Okay, so the robots have nothing to do with it. Um, is there... Is there any kind of switch? Nope. Okay. Pretty level 2, release the lock. Where is the lock? Um, okay, I tried going here. Wait, something on the wall? Okay. 
on. Nope, that doesn't look right either. Hmm. Okay, so we go up the stairs. There's something here, but I don't. Um. Explosive? Wait, I don't think that was right. Uh. How do I get past that door? Uh, well. I have no idea. I cannot for the life of me remember. Um, wow, my brain. Uh. Okay, so there's something blocking these stairs here. Do we have to come down from somewhere? Uh, and then I went to the save point and there wasn't anything. Um, ah, darn it. That is gonna bug me now. I might have to look it up for later for next time. Uh, yes, Cakey, I see you. Um, because, so I have to unlock the elevator door, so we obviously have to go in the elevator, but I have to, I have to find the security lock and unlock it. But, I do not remember where it is. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, nope. Hmm. Okay, this Oh my gosh, Serge, please just open the door. Uh, is there anything here that looks like a switch? Or... Nope. Nothing. Here. Like, trash cans. Uh, well, on the one hand, it's good level grinding XP, I guess. Um... Okay, so we got this. Alright, so no, nope. oops. Okay, well that one missed car, so that's cool. Um. Uh, these. Ow! Oh, we only have one slot element unlocked. Um, honestly, sometimes it feels like physical attacks are faster. Alright, well, we could do something. Um, I'm going to do this one because I think the robots have white elements as their innate. Uh, I don't think it's going to do a lot. Yeah. Better than nothing, I guess. Um, <laughs> All right, so we got this. Yeah, because it costs like a certain amount of stamina to do everything. Um, oh, I like Luminaire. Luminaire is a fun one. Uh, just like a little, a little blast of light. Uh, okay, so we'll just have Karsh do physical attacks. Oh my goodness. Alright, how did we do? We did pretty good. Now, I can just figure out where the button is that we're supposed to push. Um, I don't see anything. Looks... Okay, there's that guy. And then go to the end of the pier. But there's. It's like there's nothing here. There's nothing that looks like a button, nothing that looks like. I mean, there's the save point. Um, but. And there's no door. That is really weird. Um, a 
Okay, so we're gonna... Well, at least we can save our progress. Oh, excuse me. Uh. Oh my gosh, this is gonna bug me now. Like this is gonna bug me. Like that, I can't get my brain to remember. Um. Oh man. Where the heck is the security lock for the elevator? I. Erg. Um, oh right, that brooch. Uh, I think that brooch is for, for Surge. Uh, Faux Surge, uh, Angel Charm, White Brooch. Where the heck, where the heck is it? Uh, White Brooch. Protection against anti-white and white status effects. Yeah, we, we can use that. Um, uh, well, I... Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's probably gonna be something like really obvious too. That that's what's that's what's gonna bug me. It's gonna be something really heckin' obvious. Uh, and I'm just like, and I probably run by it like a hundred times. Um, there's absolutely nothing here. How on earth? Okay, is there anything here or here? Maybe this? No, this just looks like like a little teleport screen. Uh, okay. Security level two lock. So security level two. I wonder. I don't think they have anything. Um. Uh, my brain. She is tired. Um. Yeah. So there's like a little waiting room. The elevator is locked. There's a door. On the stairs over here. That won't open. Um, I have no idea. Wait, is there a door there? Oh my god. Didn't I just say it was going to be something really obvious? There was a door. And I ran by the door. <laughs> I ran by the door so many times. I'm like, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. And there's, there's a door on the on the freaking stairs. Oh my god. Why am I like this? Uh, I just... Wow. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, there's lasers. Um... I have... Oh gosh! That obviously was... was bad. Um... So when we pass through the lasers, it brings up a robot. I know the feeling. Yeah, I just, I, I ran up and down those stairs past the door multiple times and I'm just like, and then it just, it just occurred to me, wait, is there a door? Yeah, there's a door. There's a door, Mother Gamer. There's a door, Mom. <laughs> I was like, it's fine. It's fine. Just totally Totally acceptable. Uh, <laughs> totally acceptable. This is Horizon Forbidden West all over again. When I when I pulled up, I literally pulled up the inventory menu and said, "I don't remember how to do the inventory." You know, I don't know what I don't remember which button does the inventory, and then my brain caught up, and I was just like, "Okay, you know what? Never, never mind." I was like, "Stream's over. That's it." <laughs> Yeah, normal cackles at that, and I was just like, yeah, I did that. Security to level lock. Please release the lock. Is this the lock? Can we, can we release it? It's glowing, but it's not letting me do it. Okay, is there a door here? Okay, so there's a door here. Oh, gee. Um. Okay, is this the elevator? 
Okay, yes, I got it. Re release the lock. Good gosh. Okay, there's another door. I found out via video that I was passing by them multiple times. Yeah, sounds about right. Wait, there's there's a map here. Hello. Oh? Originally, El Nido was nothing but ocean. The El Nido archipelago is purely artificial, created by fate. It was a remodeling plan that took place 10,000 years ago. A plan to include islands, blessed with nature, in the Sea of El Nido. The main islands of El Nido are Dragon Isle, Water Dragon Isle, Black Dragon Isle. The development of elements using the energy of the natural world. The distribution of memory terminal devices called the Records of Fate that could monitor and guide people's lives. Research center staff who had their memories of the future erased left the center and began a life outside amidst nature. This is how Fate's Paradise came into existence. And for over 10,000 years, Fate has been watching over and guiding the descendants of the staff who left this research center. Everything was in perfect harmony. That is, until 14 years ago, when a boy came into contact with the flame on the night of the storm. Oh gosh, okay. Did we get to learn any more about it? Where was the lock release for the elevator again? My mind's been blanking out lately. Um, good, good question. Uh, okay. They're blaming Surge. Surge was just a, a kid. Maybe it's this thing? Dang it, so we need to find the elevator release. Uh, gotta be here somewhere. By the way, I saw a boy and a flashy looking chick touching that panel. Wait. This panel? Security to level 2 locked. Releasing lock. Oh! Hey! There we go! There we go! Now we gotta go back. Well, at least I know where I'm going now, <laughs> sort of. I mostly know what I'm doing. Um, wait, should we go down to the... Actually, I don't trust myself because I know I'll get lost again. Um, <laughs> I know I'll get lost again. Wait, did that unlock too? Oh, hello. What is all this? Wait. Oh, wait. I think there is a trick to this. Enter lock release code. Oh, frick. I don't... Do I look like I know? Code confirmed. It was zero, zero? Surge found recharge. Okay, that was easy. Um, there's a mysterious being inside. You have to bring someone here that knows what this is. I have no idea. Who would know what that is? Um. Okay, so we have to bring someone here who knows what that is. All right, I guess. Wait, who do I know that would know what that is? Maybe. Uh oh. I think. I think. Oh, the scientist lady. She might know what it is. Um, wait, can we, can we get up here again? Nope, that one's still busted. I'm off to bed. You have a wonderful night and a great rest of your stream, folks. Have a good night, Nock. Thanks again for the raid. It was so nice to see you. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. I, I'm curious. I think we need the science lady. Um, oh god, I can't remember her name. We can use the save point to teleport her here. I'm trying to remember her name. Oh my god. Why am I forgetting? Uh, okay, so we can teleport her. Oh gosh, what was her name? What was her name? Lucia! 
All right, I'll put Draggy back in a minute. Um, because she might know what it is. She is a scientist. Uh, so let's go. Let's go back. Mother, good morning, lovely. Good morning, Makari. How are you? Uh, how are you this morning? Um, ah, darn it. Giant robot. Um, you know what? We're, yeah, I don't usually run, but we're, we're running because I'm just taking her to see if we can do the thing. Oh, you were playing Risk of Rain too? Nice! Uh, <laughs> yes, everyone, go follow our friend Makari. Uh, she is a lovely person and streamer and is a dear friend, so, you know, very kind and welcoming, supportive community. Give her a follow. Go say hello. Uh, go have a good time. Uh, uh, and I ran past the door again, didn't I? Yeah, I did that again. Yep. I know there's a door there and I keep running past it because reasons I don't know. Wait, why won't it open now? Hello? Door? Door why you no know open? Oh. Okay. <sighs> it's been that kind of stream. Oh, geez. Alright. Um, okay, can... Does, please tell me she knows what this is. She does know what it is! <laughs> I cannot believe this! It is an ancient super weapon. Super weapon? I do recall my brother talking about this. But a super weapon that was excavated near an ancient ruin. According to him, uh, there were not enough parts to complete it, but this shows otherwise. Uh, fixed cameras, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This could would have been Grobic's exclusive weapon. I must bring Grobic here. Oh. Oh, it's a weapon for Grobic. Oh, I don't think I have Grobic, at least not yet. So maybe we can come back. Maybe. Wait, that is not the right way. Um, oh my gosh, Surge, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're definitely going to play some Rune Factory 5 on Friday night. I think I need a nice, like, chill farming sim with with uh uh you know with with murakumo with our furry werewolf boy um yeah i think i looked it up because we went on one date with murakumo and then and then we can't go on anymore because we're supposed to be able to go on three dates with him like if, whoever you romance in rune factory 5 you're supposed to be able to go where is draggy there's draggy um and you're supposed to be able to go on a date with him but if you have like an event with another person they they say oh sorry i'm busy so we, we managed to go on one really cute date with murakumo and then i think we have an event with lucy right like one of her heart events and so until we get it finished we can't we can't go on a date with murakumo and i was just like ah so maybe like once we figure that out we can we can do it um plus i have to level grind for that final dungeon in the main story um okay all right i want to see where the elevator leads because we worked so hard to get it unlocked uh okay elevator Okay, so second floor takes us where? I don't even know. I don't even remember what floor we're supposed to go to. Um, second floor takes us. I'm kind of surprised the elevator still works. Second floor. Okay. That. Okay. Third floor. Uh, you mean puppy? Autocorrect. No, he's not a cat. Well, that was one of the nicknames you could call Murakumo. I, I just went with Kumo. Because I, I felt a little weird about calling him a puppy. Like, because he's, you know, like, I know he's a werewolf, but at the same time, I was just like, 
will he be offended if I call him a puppy? Um, oh, I think that's Lavos. Yep, Lavos, an extraterrestrial life form that is thought to have fallen from the heavens 65 million years ago. On the timeline that existed before history was changed, Lavos was assumed to have slept deep below the planet's surface. Sleeping and consuming the planet's energy up until the day of destruction known as the Apocalypse. There are those who believe that 12,000 years ago, legendary ancient magical civilization known as Zeal came into contact with Lavos. That fateful encounter is said to have resulted in Zeal disappearing from the surface of the planet within the space of a single night. However, the very existence of the ancient civilization of Zeal has never been proven, so the theory cannot be confirmed to this day. On some timelines, Lavos appeared on the surface of the planet in the year 1999 and brought the world to ruin. However, a group of young time travelers saw where their planet's history was heading and through their actions rewrote time. Aha! So, reference to Chrono Trigger. Oh, hello. Um, uh, uh, hello? Both? The DNA records are poems and music. Adenine and thymine, guanine and cytosine, rhythm and melody. Perhaps the DNA of the ones who make contact with the plane is recomposed by the sound they generate within? I wonder if life forms are just dreaming in an endless flow of music. I mean, possibly? Okay. Do we touch this? I don't think we should. It looks like something that is really expensive. And, you know, we touch it wrong. It might break, so maybe, maybe not. Okay, was it this way? Oh, hey, there's a treasure chest. Oh, we found another rainbow shell. Nice. We can uh, go see Karsha's dad uh, and maybe get some things forged. Okay, so that's all this is. Okay. Fourth floor? I guess we can try the fourth floor and see what we can find. The graphics in this remind me of Final Fantasy 9 8? Uh, yeah, it is a Square Enix game. Um, I think they did this right after Final Fantasy 9. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Um, where are we? Uh, that looks interesting. Everyone gather around. Uh oh. Let's see. In the 11th century, a scientist by the name of Luca indicated the possibility of time travel through the use of a time egg, which utilizes miniature black holes. Aha! Whether this could actually be possible or not is still the suspect, the subject. Of intense debate and no conclusions have been made. Oh, whoa. Um, according to her theory, by rotating a single point of supergravity, space-time continua can be drawn in, thus making it possible to transform that singular point which pulls in everything else into a ring formation. Um, Um, hello? Uh, um, uh. Yeah, I'm really not sure how to respond to that because, um... This feels like a bot, so I'm gonna say no. Um... Okay, uh...
this is not okay. Like, seriously, if you're trolling, if this is a bot account, um, yeah, this is absolutely not okay. Uh, yeah, um, we do our best to be kind to, to everyone here, and we do our best to be kind and supportive of everyone here. However, things like this come across as really predatory and it's not okay. It's not okay to do that. Um, <laughs> you know, there are ways to do that that don't, um, you know, there, there are ways to, to approach me with something like that. Uh, this is not it. Um, you know, and it also, it also makes me a little uncomfortable. Um, because, <laughs> yeah, like my, my anxiety is spiking a little bit right now. Um, like it makes me uncomfortable because like I don't know you in that way. I don't know you at all. Uh, things people say. Uh, Mom, don't you have a business email? Yes, I do in fact have a business email. Um, yeah. Uh, like that that's that's not okay it's not okay to do uh thank you golden and honestly there are way there are better ways to approach me you know <laughs> yeah and you know what's funny is when i first started streaming i i got like you know trolls and and stuff like this and um makari makari was the one that gave me like really good advice about standing up for myself and you know and reassuring me that it's okay to tell people no uh <laughs> you know uh and that it was okay to set boundaries um you know, and i was really appreciative that he was very kind and, and supportive and, and encouraged me uh yeah and it's a new account um yeah so probably a bot but like fyi it is not okay to do that you know to like roll up into a streamer's chat especially if i don't know you like yeah like if herb a if herb asked me right you know was just like hey can i talk to you about something and like ask me about like you know like a charity stream or doing something yeah because i've gotten to know them so i i know them right but if it's like someone I don't know and or it's just your first time here, it just it feels a little it feels a little off. Um you know, and it's just time and a place. Uh and yeah, I do have a business email and it's in my about me panels and it's on my Twitter. Uh you nervous, can't sleep, hi drifter. That's okay. I'm sorry you can't sleep. Yeah. Like, I, I do my best to be as kind as I can and support everyone I can, but I can't. <laughs> uh, it just it just brings to mind something Ron told me when I said, you know, like, sometimes I feel bad that I can't do everything or, or help everyone. And Ron just, like, hugged me and said, honey, you have a big heart. And he's like, but trust me, he's like, you can't save everyone. It's like, sometimes you just, he's like, you gotta save some spoons for yourself. Um... You know, yeah, so. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, just you know, get to know people first and, and don't don't make it weird. Um, before tomorrow's move, are you just like anxious about moving? Um, just making it possible to transform. Oh, right. Uh, so Luca is from Chrono Trigger. Uh, she's in the first game. Um, using this ring as a gate between dimensions, it should be possible to travel back and forth between various space times. Yay! Dimensional travel! Uh, okay, so time eggs may have already existed during the reign of the ancient dynasty we heard legends about. Uh, we shouldn't have to rely on theories from an ancient civilization that may not have even existed. We can do this ourselves. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry you're, you're not able to sleep, Drifter. Uh, but the legends say they alter time using a time egg. That's just a legend. There isn't even any evidence to prove that this ancient dynasty ever existed. 
The experiment should be starting soon. After we discovered an unusual gravitational field in the barren sea of El Nido, we built artificial islands and established Chronopolis. This was all done to facilitate our top secret research. Uh, always nervous before I move, but also first time by myself, so it's like, uh, have you not lived by yourself before? Um, but now our research is about to come to its end. Once the final adjustments are made, experiments will commence. It's just a matter of time, so everyone should keep up their good work. Uh, nope, always with roommates. Ah, so it's like your first time, like, on your own ever. I can understand how that would make a person anxious. Um, but, uh, speaking from an experience of somebody who has lived on her own, the other side of that is you get the place all to yourself. And you don't have to answer to anyone but you. Um, you know, you get some nice privacy, you get some nice alone time. Uh, <laughs> one of my friends used to tease me, uh, she would tease me when I was on my own about she was like, so she's like, do you just walk around your apartment naked? And I was just like, do people do that? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, she, she teased me. She's like, yeah, she's like, just walk around naked. Try it out. <laughs> See how you feel. And I was just like, I mean, she has a point. You know, yeah, when you live on your own, you, yeah, you have privacy. And I mean, it can, yeah, it's understandable to feel anxious about it, though. Um, but, you know, it, it's kind of funny because with Ron, we kind of had to get used to living together because both of us, we're, we're used to like living on our own. Um, I've done that a hundred times. I mean, hey, you know, sometimes it's very freeing to go sky clad. Uh, the chief hasn't returned yet. He hasn't? Then we'll have to hold off until he gets back. Okay, so time is not absolute, but elastic. It is both relative and subjective. Individual differences emerge as time changes. Perhaps people, all life forms, exist in their own separate strands of time. Uh, mainly after a shower. Yeah. Uh, is time independent, marching to the beat of its own drum? I mean, ha, ah, ridiculous. Oh, well, say it's ridiculous. And <laughs> I mean, are you sure it's ridiculous? Really? Lost ancient magic civilization of zeal. If it really did exist, someone may have even traveled through time to this period. Well, okay, so we can talk to the little ghosties. It may appear to be a military research center. The actual subject of our research is time itself. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, so, uh, hello? This institution was established under the utmost secrecy by the central government. Oh, that's that's ominous. Um Well, how's how's your kitty cat doing, Drifter? Is she good with the move? Uh we're conducting a simulation of phase shifting. Phase shifting? Oh. Okay, wait, can we go out this way? Or do- oh wait, I think that's where we came from, so... Wait, no, that's not where we came from. This is where we came from. Ah, uh, I keep getting turned around in this building. Um, okay. Can we go... through this door? Okay, so if we go through this door, where does... Oh, it just takes us... Hey, the treasure chest I couldn't get! Oh, snap! Um, hey, I got a magnify. Hello. The chief said he was going out for a walk. He's probably by the docks somewhere gazing out to sea. We talked to him. Ah, crap. Monsters. He's okay? Probably not understanding. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, we, we did talk to the chief. He was, he was at the dock, but... Maybe we were supposed to go to B1? I and mean, we've been to every floor. 
except for being one, but I don't know if that's correct. Um, it's my friend's place and stays there for some time, so maybe she's thinking, uh, she's thinking it's that again. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Um, okay, there we go. Robot did. Uh, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, oh yes, and, and of course, you know, well, Golden handled it. Uh, but of course it goes without saying, but, you know, just a reminder, don't, don't, don't click on links and whispers from people you don't know. Like, don't click on links at all. Um, seriously, don't do that. You know? <laughs> and, and don't whisper weird bots. Um, you know, because we don't know what, <laughs> what, what, what that is. Um, you know, just, just make sure you be, you be safe. Uh, you know, be safe and be smart. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Uh, ah, oh, I got frozen. That's just rude. <laughs> that's just rude. All right, well, I guess it's up to Surge. Um, wait, wait, wait. Do I have... Ah, I have that. Kind of work. Ah, Draggy got frozen too? Darn it. Well, it's up to us, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Nora would laugh about this. I, I'm, I'm sure when I talk to her in the morning, she'll, she'll crack up over it. It's like, really? They thought that would work? Yeah, they thought that would work. Um, Alright, so there we go. Alright, so we got this. Okay, so, hmm. Go out. Is the door open? It does not. Wait, so does that mean... Nope. That doesn't open, so it's just like a weird, a weird spot. Um. Oh. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Whose emote is that? That's cute. Oh, it's a little ox. Oh, that's adorable. I love that. Uh. I love that. I love seeing all the different emotes people have. Um, there, there's so many good ones. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, I guess we go down to B1. I, I don't know. Um, or do we go past it to this weird door? Hello? Oh, wait. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. What? We'll do the same in case of an emergency. Please withdraw to your position. Uh, only personnel registered as Arbiter may enter. Arbiter? Okay, that's real weird. Um, I guess... I guess we go to B1. Please present the Central Lab Zone registration card. Registration card? What do I do if I don't have one? I, I don't have one. Um. Uh, Raylon. Oh, there's tiger ones too. Oh my god, these are so cute. Oh, I've seen this one, the the smirk. Um. Oh my god, these are adorable. Um. <laughs> and there was a robot waiting for me. Story of my life. Uh, <laughs> long time a friend of mine. Oh, the, their emotes are really cute. Um. Okay, so just of course there were robots waiting at the elevator for me. Uh, they're like, hey, give us all your money. <laughs> like, give us, give us all your bites. Uh, hmm. Okay, so we'll have Draggy do his thing. Um. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Wait, did Dragon just like hit a robot with his butt? <laughs> did he really just... It totally looked like he hit the robot with his butt and then the robot was just like, okay, I'm dead now. I, I like, did... You hit a robot with your butt? <laughs> He's like, well, I'm a little baby dragon. What else am I supposed to do? I like, no, good, good point. Okay, now can we talk to him again? Uh, the time research lab, which served as the foundation of this research center, appeared out of nowhere in the year 2300. It was headed up by the scientific genius Belthazar. Um, a fart attack. I mean, can you imagine <laughs> if that would work? Uh, if that would work at all. Uh... <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, however, at the peak of his career, he simply vanished. We've continued his work and have come this far. Our work is almost complete. Well, about time I headed back. The experiment's about to begin. Oh, we were supposed to go find him. Oh, I don't know. So that's the ghost of the chief. I, at least I think they're ghosts. Um, do meaning to the phrase "baby bump." <laughs> just, just a little bit. Uh, okay. So. So I think those are the ghosts, so we have to go back to the fourth floor, right? Um, and see the experiment. Alright, so... We can't go to B1 because we don't have authorized access. Uh, so... Works in South Park Fracture Puddle. I have never seen that. I, I don't even remember when the last time I watched South Park was. Uh... Um, okay. Wait, is this the experiment? Oh. No. Do we... Do we talk to them? Nobody's talking to us. This is the observation room. This is where we observe the two parallel worlds. Oh. Okay. The main computer of Chronopolis is called Fate. Yeah. There's a giant robot up here. Are we supposed to touch this? Uh-oh. I don't think we were supposed to touch it. Oopsie. Oopsie. Um, Epo Light has been playing it recently. Oh yeah, that's right. She has. I forgot about that. Um, I don't think we were supposed to touch that robot. Or robots, plural. Uh, I just I saw the shiny treasure chest and I went for it. I'm sorry. Was was that a, was that a mistake? Yeah, it was a mistake. <laughs> Uh, it's got its moments. I don't know. I haven't watched South Park in a really long time. Um. Ow. Okay, seriously. <laughs> uh. Oh no, not go ballistic. Oh. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Well then. Well, oh my goodness! I just heard. Oh, I, what was it I saw about that? Oh, right, it was something about like, like Stan and Kyle being adults, and it was like, and there were like memes of it of of like Kyle being hot, and I was just like, oh, <laughs> like of adult, like adult South Park Kyle being hot, and I was just like, wait, that's a thing. Oh yeah, and one of my friends showed me, and she was just like, yeah, see, there, I was just like, oh. Yeah, like, and apparently it was for, like, South Park, like, showing them, like, grown up, and I was just like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but it was just so weird, because I was like, I mean, I guess I get it, but also odd. Um, okay, uh. Draggy didn't get a chance to do anything. 
Um, hmm. Oh, Draggy is enchanted. Perfect. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so we're gonna just... Oh, I have Meteor Shower. I think... I think Meteor Shower can work. Um... Brain's starting to calm down and starting to pass out. Thanks for keeping me company while I calm down. Yeah, of course, Drifter. I you know, I hope you have a good rest. Um, oh yeah, that after COVID season, yeah, and, and everybody was like, yeah, and, and I was like seeing like weird memes, and they're like, oh my god, Kyle is hot, and I was just like, is? Like, isn't he a cartoon? <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Whoops. Aha, we got rid of one robot, uh-oh. And then the other robot is mad at us. Oh dear. Oh gosh, they keep picking on poor little Draggy. Um. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I I know that you're enchanted, but also stop hitting us. Uh. Oof. Jeez. All right, I might have to revive Draggy. This thing is being really obnoxious. Um, Surge two, come on! Yeah, Draggy dead. Oh boy! Seriously? Oh, for goodness' sake! And Penny was useful again. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Okay, we're definitely- I don't know what if this is a mini boss battle or what. I just know this is just really deeply upsetting. Um, okay, uh, no, no, we have to play it smart. We have to recover all. Um, I might have to have Surge revive Drivey. All right, there we go. Uh, flying arrow, revive. Poor little draggy. Uh, okay, there we go. All right. Oh darn! Because ah, I should have used a salamander. Um, you know what? Yep. He has meteor shower, so we're gonna we're gonna use it. Um, now I'm a holy dragon. <laughs> yeah, I don't under I never really understood the the Hartman character at all. It's just like because it didn't make sense to me why they were friends with him. Because I'm just like honestly, I would not be friends with somebody that was like constantly like a jerk. Um. Because it's just, it's weird. Uh, okay. We're gonna do a recover all. Like, I never really understood it. Because, like, one of my friends was, like, they really, like, South Park. And they were just like, well, you know, and I watched an episode in, with them because they were like, do you want to watch it and see what it's like? I was like, I don't think this is for me. But the thing was, is like, I couldn't understand why they were friends with Cartman because... He's just, he's rude, like, all the time. <laughs> and, like, he's rude and he's a bigot. And, and I'm just like, why are they friends with this person? Uh, <laughs> and, and the way my friend explained it to me was basically they're kind of stuck with him. Like, they try to ditch him, but he just kind of hangs around. <laughs> I was like, okay. I was just like, I still don't understand why they they're right. I was just like, I still don't understand why they're friends with them. Like, it's super weird. Uh, okay. So can we do? Wait, wait, wait. What is their in oh their innate element? Okay. Um, so I'm gonna do ice blast because their innate element is red. 
like draggy so we can do some blue uh there we go um okay we're gonna do luminaire all i wanted to do was get the treasure chest and here we are especially towards kyle yeah and Yeah, yeah, especially towards Kyle and Cartman's literally tried to instigate a race war several times in the show and they still hang out with him. Yeah, plus there's like ableist jokes in South Park that I'm not comfortable with. Um, so I'm just like, no. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't understand it. I, I get that they're poking fun at stuff and like how stupid that stuff is. Like... I, I do understand the nuance that they're they're pointing they're poking fun at like look how stupid it is to be racist look how stupid it is to be you know to be a jerk um like do you really want to be you know like don't be like Cartman basically um like that part I I get but at the same time I'm just like I don't think this show is for me um. You know, those is like, uh, like, yeah, um, you know, and just like pointing out the ridiculousness of it, um, because they felt bad and was tired of torturing the poor kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kenny's kind of been through a lot, like, a lot. Uh, okay, so let's do a heal all. I don't know what's going on with these, these giant robots, they're just like... They're being really, really legit terrible. Okay, I don't even know if one of them's like almost done. Like I know Karsh got rid of one. Um, okay, can we get rid of the other one? Oh, okay, he has his axial axe. So let's see if that works. Oh yeah, there we go. Hits all of them at once. Okay, so Draggy can go over there. Wait, Kenny was written off? Uh, yeah, yeah, a while ago. Um. Okay, so now we can do. Uh, okay, let's do meteorite. I don't think I have enough, like, blue spells. Um, but. Oh, wait, Surge might have some. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. We can do dash and slash. Kenny, the kid that died every episode, nobody can remember. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it became like a weird running gag. Um. Uh, okay, um. Okay, let's do another attack for dragging. Okay, and then we got this. Oh my goodness. Hey, there we go. Uh, okay, so, whoops. Hey, we got some more Infernos. We can give those to Draggy. All I wanted was this treasure chest. Search found card key. Oh, so we were supposed to. Okay, okay. Um, okay, elements allocate. We give Draggy some more Inferno. Inferno. Free order. Uh, okay. Oh, right, he has Fireball. Uh, and Magma Bomb. Okay, Inferno. Well, yeah, and he has Volcano. Coverall. Uh, Salamander, but the innate field has to all be red. Um. Up. Uh, Let's give him one more Inferno. And then maybe we can also give a Surge an Inferno. Oh, he has one. Um, he has one. Uh, Imbecile, Nostrum, Recover All, Flying Arrow. Maybe Karsh? Maybe Karsh can do Inferno. Uh, Carnivore. Carnivore doesn't do as much as I had hoped it would. <laughs> um, which is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I feel like Inferno would be better. Okay, so we... 
Uh. Ew. <laughs> That's so gross. Okay, so we did that. It all began with a notebook my mother handed me. She told me she found it while cleaning out the closet. This old notebook covered with mold was a diary that belonged to my grandfather who passed away years ago. It contained his distant memories. Does this device play back archives? Looks like someone's memoirs. Okay. I wonder if you still remember how we first met and our many adventures. It all seemed like a dream. We ran like the wind during those warm summer days long ago. We were a piece of a star that fell from the sky. I can still relive the memories of those days long past. Just by closing my eyes like so, and whispering your name into the desolate night. Kid. Kid. Radical dreamers, le tresor interdit. Whoa. What's this? Radical dreamers? Draggy talks? Yeah, draggy talks. What does this mean? There's a conversation with a comrade. Okay. Are you ready, kid? I know you're anxious, but stay on your toes. Yeah, likewise, mate. You mess up and I'm leaving you behind. Got that, Serge? Come on, McGill. Let's go. Serge, that bastard lynx is going to get what he deserves. Say your prayers, not they'll do you any good. Oh, no. Uh-oh. This seems to be an archive from a different time than our own. Aside from the two worlds we already know about, other worlds and times may also exist. Yeah, Draggy talks. Uh, when you first hatch the egg, he talks. Um, hmm. So, oh wait, who has burns? Oh, Karsh. Okay. Uh, we can use ointment, um, to cure that. There we go. Should be all good now. Okay, so we have the key card. Hello. Wait, 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 what? The main computer of Chronopolis is called Fate. Yeah, got it. And then they're watching... Uh, okay, hello. No? Fate contains a massive amount of historical data dating up to the year 2400. Oh. Okay. Hello? Okay, nope. So the Arbiter, the Arbiter, um, okay, so do we go, maybe we were supposed to go in that door. And I go, the experiment is underway, access denied, and I got hit by a robot. Brain blew up. Yeah, to get draggy, so, so the bird egg that you steal from the bird's nest in the first area when you first start the game. When you go to Fort Dragonia, you take the elevator down and there's like a row of incubators. You put the egg in the incubator and Draggy, the egg hatches immediately and Draggy comes out. And he, and he asks, you know, if, and it's when, like, you know, Serge is in Lynx's body. Um, and he asks Serge, you know, if, if he's his mother and <laughs> tells him he smells more like a father. Uh, so, and he's looking for his his other dragon siblings, right? Um, and then he asks, Serge, will you help me find my family? And Serge says yes. And then Draggy joins your party. Um, yeah, but that's how you get him. You have to hatch the egg. Green blue up. I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I was just like, okay. Um, oh, okay. Hoopo is on. Um, all right. Yeah, I'm trying to get back to the save point because we, we ran a little longer because we had, you know, we had a couple of, of lovely days from, from our lovely friends. Um, so yeah, because usually I have been ending at four. Um, but you know, five, five is okay. Uh, <laughs> uh okay, there we go. Wait, are they dead now? Yes? No? Maybe? Alright, so we have the key card, but I don't know 
If it'll let us through? Okay. Cover all meteor showers. Um, so we can't go in? Access denied. Rude. Let us in! <laughs> We're like, no. Cannot. Wait, can we go down here? Confirming access granted. Oh, we can go down if you want. Okay. I will go to the save point in a minute. <laughs> oh, I thought you knew the draggy talks, Golden. Um. Okay, let's go back in. Yeah, so we're we're gonna have to fight more giant robots. That's that's gonna be a fun time. Uh, that's gonna be a fun time. Um. Okay, so let's go here. Let's go save our game. We'll get that next time. We'll get it next time. Uh, la 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 la. Okay. We're gonna save. Save our game? Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Uh. Yay! Uh. No. <laughs> no. We won't get it next time? Holden's like, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll die a lot. Uh. <laughs> One's like, no, we'll, we'll die a lot. We'll die so much. Um, yeah. Oh, our friend Hoopo was on. Uh, yeah, Hoopo um, has, you know, uh, Harry, uh, he got a new job, so he hasn't been able to stream as much. Um, so we haven't seen him in a long time. So let's go say hello to him. Uh, he is playing, it looks like he's playing some Fire Emblem Three Houses, which is really cool. Um... So yeah, and Harry Hoopo uh, is the lead. Oh no, didn't know Draggy talks. Oh okay. Um, Hoopo is an awesome person. Um, he's always really kind and welcoming. He is a fellow LGBTQIA uh, plus streamer, um, and his community is very supportive and welcoming. Uh, I I love Harry dearly. He's always so sweet and so nice to everyone. Um, so we're gonna go say hello. Uh, thank you so much. For the raids uh, from Fat Pigeon Plays, Three Bears Gaming, uh, Not Felix, uh, I appreciate you all so much. Thank you, thank you for trusting me with your communities. I appreciate you, and of course, Makari for for popping in, and saying hello, and hanging out with me. I I love her too. Uh, Makari has been my friend for a long time, and um, she was one of the first people to support me when I first started streaming, just you know, with encouragement and and just being a wonderful, wonderful friend. Um, so if you want to grab one of those raid commands, we are going to raid our friend Hoopo. Come with me, say hello, just give him a few minutes of your time. Uh, as I said, he's a really good friend. He's really sweet. Um, yeah, Friday night, I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna just relax with some, uh, Rune Factory 5. Um, but if you're new, you want to join our Discord, you can do that. You can hang out with everybody after stream. Uh, we do have a mental health section with mental health resources as well. Uh, and you can follow on Instagram and Twitter, and you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, if you missed a stream, I put the VODs up there. Um, and you can, of course, we have like the Kofi as well. Uh, but we're gonna raid Hoopo, come with me. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, thank you for making my day a little better. Uh, I will see y'all later for Friday night stream. Remember to do your best to be kind to yourselves and be kind to each other. Until next time, bye everyone.